Welcome to We Love to Hate Everything. I'm Jody, and along with my long distance bestie Amanda, we live to break down all the things we love to hate. Each week, we scour TV, TikTok, and pop culture and deliver you our unfiltered, snarky takes on everything. Take a moment to subscribe on YouTube so you catch all our live streams and shows, and follow the links in the banner to subscribe to our free weekly podcast and two Patreon shows, We Love to Hate TV and Total Request Podcast where you request the shows and we break them down. Once subscribed, you have instant access to our massive library of hundreds of past shows and recaps. We promise you'll love it. And listen, we're all friends here, so let us hear from you in the comments. We love getting to know you and we hope you enjoy the show. All right, let's go. Hello and welcome to We Love to Hate Everything. I'm Jody. And I am Amanada. <laughs> Amanada. Oh yes. Thanks to little Edie herself, right? Yeah, little Edie. Little, oh, oh, right. Big Edie, little Edie. Little background information for those of you who don't know Grey Gardens. Uh look it up. Where I mean it's been. it's literally the future of Robin and Aurora. Absolutely. Brianna's sure. getting out, I think. Robin's just sitting there. I'm just, just sitting there, just sitting there eating mm. corn. I think my goal is oh, look. I fr I framed it. Amanada, <laughs> that is so good. You know what? That might need to be some new merch. I mean, that's. I mean, I have a copyright on it. It's my name. It's your name. I'm an, I don't know any other Amanadas. Now, a couple people have said we should do merch that says "Go Away, Aurora," and I was like imagining a situation where she's oh out, God. out and about. Well, I mean. If, just for the story, let's assume she's out of the house. She had a friend and she was out. If right she was out, yeah. She has a doctor's appointment or something. Mm -hmm. um, and she sees someone wearing a go away Aurora. And you have that thought in your head like, oh, that's my name. But it's like, this yeah. shirt is actually about you. Oh. You. Because <laughs> you don't go you need to, you never You need leave. to go away, Aurora. Go away. Bye-bye. <sighs> Bye-bye. Yes. See ya. Um, now Jody hasn't watched this episode. I watched it thrice, and fucking oh, Corey and Carly right. put out their episode today, which is annoying because I can't listen to it until we uh, until we do ours because I'll just end up copying everything they say. But um, yeah, it's yeah, a big you can't day. Get it into your head, right? Yeah. Ooh, yeah, I'm so excited. It's a big. Than I mean, last week? it's way better than last week. It was just like it was. It was just like fascinating. It was just like I watched it with Justine and Blair, her fiance, and we all just were like, I mean, we laughed a lot too. We made fun of Cody. Did a you lot. go to her house or did I Cody did? Go? I went to her house and she made this fucking bomb uh, buffalo chicken dip. It was so I was just fucking say good. Famous buffalo chicken dip. She always talks about that. Oh, well, it's good. And um, uh, when I was on my way there. I I was I was stopping to get gas and this guy came out and he's like, your tire's pretty low. And I was like, what? And he's like, your tire's pretty low. It's going to blow out in the highway on you if you don't fix it. And I was like, okay. Uh, I don't really yeah. know what to fuck you. Say blow out? I think I don't <laughs> yeah, know. So I drive to Airdrie and Blair, I mean, it's, it's just like the most typical like man thing. Cause I, cause I messaged a scene and I'm like, does he know anything about tires? Cause he like, can he like maybe take a look? He spent like half an hour out there with my car, like blowing it up with like a little oh. like pump that he has. Oh, oh, that's great. Yeah. How so many it, um, PSI did you, were you down to? What? Like, what was your air pressure at? I don't know. Was Never heard that oh, word in my life. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but then as I was leaving, he's like, you probably should get new tires soon though. <laughs> Oh, like, okay. gotcha. but uh, no, it was like super, super fun. We smoked. I had a glass of wine and then we went in and we got down to business. We got down to sister wise. And this episode is so good. Okay. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh, I've been, I've been edging all day. So, okay. Yeah. This is exciting. Everyone in the comments is going nuts over this episode. I'm I know. Woo. Yeah. Um, uh, let's get, uh, let's get business out of the way really quickly. Okay. First of all, follow us on Instagram and TikTok. I mean, why not? Uh, why wouldn't us, you? Can I just speak for the group when I say all of us were like, oh, graphic. 
We're on pins and needles. There will be no new graphics. People seem to think this will be a recurring segment. That took me so much blood, sweat, and tears to make those. These are the graphics you're getting. If, listen, I might if throw one in every so often. I'm thrilled. <laughs> and we're going to be looking forward to it every single episode. Every so often, <laughs> I might I might pop one in for you. Um, so follow us on Instagram and TikTok. Also, um, this week on our Patreon, perfect time to sign up, guys. Sister yep. Wives is down, like getting in gear. It's the first of the month, the fourth of the month. Oh, it's my parents' wedding anniversary. Today? Yeah, I arrived in Canada exactly two years ago today as well. Holy shit, that's two yeah. years already? Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, and uh, I just went I just went to July get a... 4th. Your, oh. Me and Look Brad text each other happy anniversary month, every uh, July 26th. <laughs> Not every, but like every, if, if I think of it. Um, I just went to the uh, pot store and I was buying gummies and a new, uh, a new like uh, cartridge. And the guy there, I like have a total crush on him. We had like such a good rapport. And then I started like, out by saying. Like Jeremy like, and me. Totally. Yeah. It was uh-huh. just magic and chemistry. But then I say, yeah, yeah I just moved here from, uh, from, from the US. And, he, and he's like, oh, where? And I'm like. Cause, cause I, I, I don't know the lingo because I've never lived anywhere where it's legal before. Oh, okay. So, but then he's like, oh, so then he kept asking me all these questions, and then I just kept like, t- and I was like, why did I say I just moved here? Because it's been two <laughs> years, so we can never go on a date now because he's gonna know I'm a big fat liar. No, well, anyway. it just flew by. I mean, with COVID and everything. It, and my ankle, Jody. Your ankle. You were still recovering from the one chip challenge where you and I <laughs> shared more bodily fluid than anyone actually, in our lives. I think that was the least I've ever shit in a day. Like I was so my stomach was so fine after that. Um anyway, this week on Patreon, um, Sister Wives season eight, episode five, Anthropologists Move In. And it's a good one. And Cody is performing like a one act play the entire time. Uh-huh. He's like, Everybody, welcome to my humble abode. And, uh, the grill scenes were, oh as God. you, I mean, your favorite, it's so your favorite phrase, chef's kiss. It is my favorite phrase. I love when people say yeah. that. Uh-huh. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't make me cringe. No. Um, and then on, um, on TRP, also tier one, we'll be doing Southern Charm. And I was supposed to put up a post last week asking what episode oh, yeah. to do and I never did so if anyone wants to let us know what a perfect episode of Southern Charm is let We've us know we'll recap it. it this week maybe nope. we watched an episode if we did we don't remember we yeah but give it yeah give us a really good one yeah and as always uh smash that like smash, smash that, that like, like. Ooh, yeah. 6.99 follower on TikTok that is a good number oh okay so we need one more person now get us to 700 we're killing it over there on tiktok oh dame with dateline kimberly's here hi kimbali um okay do you have anything do you have anything else to say before we get into some hot topics oh oh, no 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 hot topics okay okay i'll be quiet to be quiet you don't have to be wait you don't have to be quiet because the uh it, it mutes you immediately <laughs> yeah. no that's okay I, so I no matter what you're it saying it's gonna cut you off hot topics okay i got some um i got some good ones here Ooh, um hey. first of all um let's see if i can even find this picture yes so I put up a video on TikTok again. Go follow us on TikTok and Instagram. But I put up a video on both of those of me showing you the Howie's molting uh, like image, and somebody He's tagged funny. Howie's mom in it, and she commented on our post. She said, "Love it." She obviously didn't listen to the episode. <laughs> no. Oh no, I cut it off before we started talking about like. <laughs> Why that crab should like I'm pretty not sure exist I called anymore. for PETA to you know yeah you know boycott in their yard or something. No, she just watched this little clip and saw that Howie was in it. She went, "Love it." So we're basically oh, she TikTok have time. famous now. She's busy making hats for food. <laughs> I like feeding squirrels. I I, I don't like it, babe. It's yeah, weird. Like it. Uh, so that that was fun. Um, here are things that I've noticed um this week on 
basically TikTok because that's where I get all of my information from. But first of all, are you following this um, eight passengers mom, Ruby okay, Frankie? I, I'm with you. I've been getting all my news from TikTok. Every other, um, I mean, I'm doing it to myself, right? Because I'm watching it, trying to learn what happened. Yeah. Like, yeah, like who are oh, there's so many of these parents that come out of the woodwork that they're starving their children they're in cages apparently the kids were locked into a safe um yeah safe room right yeah, yeah and i don't i'm not it, it, shockingly i'm not one who would follow like a family blog of like what? fucking kill me Damn. jesus i don't think kids should be allowed in tiktok videos in the first place honestly except if they're the ones where the chick does the face painting she just came back up in my okay yeah them. yeah jenna you do love her jenna yes we do like her <laughs> but she has permission and stuff i don't know but um so this woman ruby was mm -hmm. arrested and this is so fucked up like what do you know about this okay so i know she has a business partner jody jody yeah, i know <laughs> all bad name but i think Thanks. she's jody only with an eye and as you know, I dropped it in fourth grade. So like it was a little triggering for me, but um, I, I've- But you took it back. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so they are like business partners and apparently Jody was also in on the child abuse and they're like starving the kids and stuff. I did just see one saying that maybe Ruby's husband wasn't living in the house for the last year. Yeah. But he was seen wearing his wedding ring. Ooh. Um, yeah, she just had like severe punishments like oh if they forgot to make a lunch oh well they're gonna be hungry maybe if they're like high school or middle school and they can buy their own or something but i think this was like her six-year-old or something which is just yeah and she um she like her son got in trouble at one point so they got rid of his bed for like eight months and he had to sleep on a bean bag which actually seems fine for that long i mean probably not great for your back though well he's a kid but i mean like fucked up shit like that so um, one of the kids fucking crawled out the window at Jody's yeah. house and went this to the is neighbors. Like the tur turpins, turpines. Yeah, turpins. That, yep, just like that story. It's fucked. And yeah. uh, honestly, like I'm impressed with how quickly they arrested her, because mm -hmm. usually, like they like they miss they miss stuff like this. But yeah, they they went and like both two kids were emaciated and. <sighs> It's fucked up so that's fun it's just so sad like why even have kids then if you're gonna be like this because they may for the same reason that howie's mom has a tiktok channel dedicated to a crab because they make money did did i just sense you coming to the other side of howie the crab i agree with you about howie i just think i've always oh. agreed with you I didn't know that. Yeah, I think it's, it's insane. No, I would never okay, own a I, didn't crab. Know. I thought you like loved Howie. I do love Howie. Okay. But I also think it's an insane thing that this woman has this crab. Um another okay, here's okay. A, a funny thing that I just <laughs> that I just keep seeing come up. And it's okay. this 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 tone deaf ass shit where fucking Oprah and Chris Rock uh not Chris Rock, The Rock. Are like yeah. as are you are you following this? It's so funny. It got this got like as well received as Gal Gadot doing that Imagine video. Basically, it's just so toned up. All the celebrities it's... singing Imagine during oh, COVID. Oh. That was the worst part of COVID. <laughs> that made had, me like, curl the, into the a fetal position. Hats. They had like the hipster flat um, felt hats. Yeah, and I think they're all wind, singing in like two. They all have they oh. haven't established a key, so everyone's kind of in different keys as they go. Um. Oprah and The Rock are begging us for donations for Maui when, honestly, both of these two could afford yeah. to fix buy everything, Maui. buy it buy without it. even noticing it. It would be like a tax write-off. Mm -hmm. And I just think it's really funny. Because they're, they're like asking like civilians. And I think they donated like 500 grand to them. Ooh, 500 grand. <laughs> I mean, I guess like, like you. good. They're oh, so. What are people saying about it? The same thing, like the same thing. Like, uh, oh, okay. I make fifteen dollars an hour, so sure. no, sure. I would like to feed my children tonight. When yeah, you, Oprah. 
you have enough money that like you'll never be able to spend it in your lifetime. Right. Yeah. Donate a million. And then I mean, maybe. each. I think they donated five hundred grand between the two of them, which is like <gasps> pithy. Really? I think so. I don't know. How I didn't do that much they? investigation. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, they do. Oh wait, hold on. Here, we're, we're getting some. Oh, 10 million. 10 million. All right. Well then. Then I'll shut the fuck up. But I still. mean, what is that really? Though? Scout? Like a big uh, Scout's downstairs barking. <laughs> Even Scout's pissed off about this. I don't know wow. where I got 500 grand. I mean, I'm really just getting my information from TikTok videos. So like, sure. I'm just hearing. I what. feel like they could give more. That's all I'm saying. I think they could too. Yeah. I mean, I feel like 10 million to them is like a thousand for us. Probably. And like where you it's said, like, it's all going to be written off. Again, they're doing good things. It's just one of those, like... Yeah, but, like, okay. Um, okay, there was um, the the flooding. Flooding? Or a hurricane? Some kind of world disaster uh, okay. happened th- this past week. And all I really care about is this cat. So there, there, there's somebody doing an interview <laughs> with this you. man, with this, like, really kind of hot guy, probably okay. in his 30s. And he's like... Like his house is just completely trashed and they're talking to him um like they're like oh so like how are you doing and he's like well we lost everything but he's like but i just want to ask like if anybody sees a cat there's a black cat and then he like starts just crying and he like turns away from the camera and he's like my wife just really wants to find that cat and i want to find that cat and the amount of times i was refreshing that fucking page cat was found cat was found oh my God. I don't think that would have happened if you weren't refreshing the page. I'm just saying. They would have been looking and looking. You I <laughs> manifested it. I needed to I needed that cat to be okay. Yep. Uh so that was fun. But like you can you can look that up. It's it's very, very cute. Um Okay. I just want to point out this comment from Crystal. Uh the the Rock and Oprah pledged to donate. Huh, someone else pledged something at some point and then didn't follow through. Who was that? There's no way. There's no way he's going to be found not guilty. There's no way. We're get, we're really we're flying way too close to the sun at this point. Amber Amber turd. Um, <laughs> I mean, most hilarious joke to come out of that whole thing. I mean, it's funny. It is. I mean, it is fun. Amber turd. And it makes it's sense. Funny. It's hilarious because she's shot in his bed. But it was funny. It was a joke. She said. Yeah. It was a prank, if you will. Pranks um, are so funny. Ask Mary Brown. She loves a good prank. Be sure she's your bed. You're gonna find something. She in pranks prank. a lot. Yeah. Let's open. A, let's open your side bed uh, drawer and like search through it and see what's in there. Oh, Walter. Oh, uh, Amanda. Where is Walter? Kelly asks. I gave him. Oh, he's right here. What are you doing? Oh, he's what are you doing, hiding. idiot? Oh, no! Don't you dare call him. Go lie please. down. Go lie down. They believe He's, what they hear. That's going to be his inner dialogue now. I gave him a piece of like meat and he like um, buried it under his bed and now he won't go sit next to it. He's, he's fucking weird. Um, he's he's, fine. he's obsessed on, yeah. with Justine's fiance. Like <gasps> fucking obsessed. He like and he normally doesn't like men. He does not like men, but he likes Blair. Um, okay. Kanye West blowjob. This is like... <laughs> Do you know this? This no. is hot off the presses. Justine gave this to me. Um, there is oh, did I even I, I didn't I didn't take pictures of this. Um, but Kanye West and his wife, like this, they are like the weirdest couple. But he no. has her like he, yeah, yeah, it's weird. Yeah. Yeah. She's like wearing it. Like, he makes her wear like naked clothes. I don't know, whatever. I don't care about that. But like they were on a boat. Um like yesterday and um she gave him a blowjob and it got like uh it got recorded by like a whole bunch of tourists and it's just a picture of him sitting in the boat she's blowing him but you can't see her but like his pants are off so you can just see like his naked ass he's getting a blowjob and they've been banned (laughs) they've been banned from ever ever loading this boat again Wait. Okay, I got. I got. I gotta look this up. So I don't does he on. look dumb? He looks like a guy with his pants off, like getting a blowjob, like on a boat, on a water taxi. They've been banned. A water taxi. Kanye yeah. West. Kanye West and Bianca Sensori banned from Venice water taxi because of obscenities. 
Ooh. And uh, they had a third party that was standing like kind of between them and the boat cat and the water taxi. A third party, okay. A third party who was like hiding them from the driver. Kanye West butt exposed while on Venice riverboat with wife. <laughs> Social media reacts. They want to see it. It just it reminds me of who was the guy that uh, was taking a shit and like oh uh, oh a rod a rod yep. One, one it's, of my it's, favorite pictures. It's like you look I mean, stupid. I, know, I understand it's a total invasion of privacy. Like I get that, but it's just it's funny. funny. It's funny. Just like Amber Turd shitter. is funny. Just like just Scrolling like Link. on his phone. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh my God! So it's like from behind you're seeing his butt. Yeah, it's just like you're just seeing a naked ass, but he's wearing a jacket, and then she's blowing him on a water taxi. Hot. So they're. There's like a, a driver right there. A, a yeah, but there was a captain. third party that was blocking them. So there's a third party just watching this happen. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. So she did this with another one or two people on the boat. At least two other people, yeah. I hate that. I hate that. It's like very girls. It's just how old are we? Predatory, gross. It's gross. Um, I have gross, like one. I don't like it. I have one really funny, like, something I, like, genuinely laughed at this. Um, I saw this article on Facebook, and then I clicked on it, and then it was coming up on fucking every social media after that. But um, Jim Burroughs, who is, like, one of the showrunners of Friends. Okay. A show from literally, like, almost 30 years ago. <laughs> has come out with this interview and this statement saying that he doesn't think... He, uh, he doesn't think that H Helen Baxendale really was funny on the show. He just, uh, it, she played Emily, the British girl that oh, okay. uh, Ross almost marries. And he did this full interview for some reason, like last week saying like, yeah, she was going to be a bigger part of the show, but she just didn't really have any chemistry with uh, David Schwimmer. And he was just playing against a brick wall, basically. And we were trying to replace her, but then it just got too late. So we just kind of had to stick with her. And it's like, why are you coming out with this information so right mean. now? It's so mean. And she was fine. I liked her on the show. She is funny. Maybe you should have written her funnier. Well, I was going to say, is her character supposed to be funny? I mean, all I know I is I thought that, like, they had chemistry. The it never bothered right? me. It just, it doesn't make sense why you would come out in 2023 with this news article. Like, just so you know, she sucked. Like, well, why? Justine, Justine's agreeing. She thinks her character was the worst. No, I think that we all thought that when we were young. But, like, if you think about it now, your boyfriend, your, your fiance's ex, ex, shows up to your wedding uninvited and yeah. and then she, he says her name in front of everyone i get Don't it do that babe i mean i get why she's a little pissed yeah <laughs> and also you don't want her outshining the main characters of the show right I mean, she shouldn't be like boom, 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 funny lines, funny lines. I thought lines she was fine. She's a secondary character. But it's just like, what utility was this? Like, what, what was the utility of this article? Like, I want to come out now and just like shit all over. Yeah. Did she not that invite him? That's very bizarre. Yeah. Um, okay. Now, Oprah and the Rock. Uh, well, okay, Justine so is really going for Emily here. Then dump his ass. She was annoying. <laughs> I liked her. Wow, we found uh, out friends Emily is uh, is Justine's Howie apparently. Yeah, apparently, uh, okay. She's so now the aura of friends basically go away. <laughs> no, go she away. is not the aura of friends. Um, okay, so there's two big things happening right now in our world, in our like pithy little world. But um, sister wives. Other than sister wives, I mean that's a okay. whole thing. That's a okay. whole thing. Okay. But. Um, First of all, a girl on TikTok named Ricky Lee um, messaged the guy from Adults Adopting Adults. Oh, you sent this to me. Was there a follow-up? Yeah, she, like, did an interview with him. And I gotta say, he comes off as incredibly charming. Well, because he's a sociopath. <laughs> well, yeah. But, yeah. But guess what? They don't talk to that girl anymore. She left... She left his ass. his ass. Yeah. And now she has um, a new no, she has a new boyfriend, but I'm not even bothered by it. Like it's totally fine. It's totally fine with me. Is he still with the wife? Or should I say? Yes! Yes! Oh, They're still together. No. 
He said it's never really been easy with the two of us, but we're getting better oh. now. Oh. Okay, there's not an, enough years left in your life to just stick it out with that man and keep trying. He's really disgusting. charming, though. He seems so friendly Amanda. and, like, fun. I mean... That's I, probably what Ileana thought, too, until she showed up and he right. said, well, I would say, welcome to Ohio. Where's my blowy? Oh, yeah, I but she was that. just so cuddly over there. He said he would have been open to adopting an, a, a man if, if, if it was needed. I'm sure he Had would. nothing to do with being attracted to her. And he said, he said, I, sw I swear on my life that I... Not for one second was I ever attracted to Eliana. It's like, okay. No, he said that uh, beforehand they had like a, the, uh, a mutual friend that he started to get like feelings that she was attractive. So that made him nervous. But Eliana came and don't worry, he wasn't attracted to her. Sure. Sure. So right. did she ask why did the show get yanked off the air? And what did he say? Uh, I don't think it was honestly like a four part interview and I really only had the patience for like one of them. But, um, okay. As I far as I, as far it. as I know, cause she did a question and an answer where he just like typed stuff. Then they did an, okay. an actual like interview where he blurred out his whole background too. Where I was like, what is, what are you hiding? Back okay. There? Find something to sit in front of. Don't do the blur. I know. But he's, I, as far as I know, like he has no idea why I got pulled. Although like is cause of you because you're a fucking like creeper psychopath but you find him very charming he comes across you as charming can live on his land you want to go live in his camper he could be emptying your oh share. he wouldn't be attracted to me um <laughs> I'm, I'm like 20 years way too old for him um okay uh this other thing paul and karini you following that shit okay. jesus christ well i started to and then i didn't want it to end up in my whole algorithm so uh, as far as i know she posted something talking about him in past tense and then everyone took that as like he um unalived himself possibly or went missing or people are trying to find him he owed money shocking oh okay um, these are all like other he was telling his mom that he needed to rent a boat a or boat. something yeah and his messages to his mom are like super cryptic. They're like, I fucked up. I fucked up real bad. I need a boat. Here's my location. And then it was like, that was it. And the location so wasn't tall. what? It's yeah, so that's what people are tall. saying. I don't I don't know their I don't know them. I think I watched the yeah. first episode where he like ran off and like left her <laughs> to like die. But he um would DM me all the time on um Instagram. Really? Yeah, or like Twitter. Uh, About what? Recapping 90 Day. He sent me a, a video of Karini's ultrasound. I don't know if we even Why? remember if it was a first or second baby. Because I think he legitimately um, thought, well, first of all, he likes the fame and attention. So I think he was always like wanting me to ask if he wanted to come on the podcast. Or maybe he was thinking like people pay. Like Fair Abraham's podcast, dad. Yes. <laughs> Michael Abraham also Jody what are you doing you're, you're wasting a huge opportunity with yep. me right now um he one time I remember I randomly said I was like looking for a certain color yeti mug and he looked it up and he was like oh at uh the fuck no Blaine's farm and fleet for this amount of money I was like like I, I, I never responded to him but that didn't stop him from constantly sending messages jesus christ i had no idea about that but yeah i mean he, he's um, obviously okay so what did you find out did they find he's you know? in brazil she's in america and for some reason he's in brazil brazil and okay. um and he and she posted something well first she posted something about like li why life and like life insurance is so important make sure you get life insurance uh she posted that on her instagram then That's a couple days weird. later i know very weird then a couple days later she posts paul is missing in brazil um you know thoughts and prayers or whatever and then the next day she posted like some like compilation video of just like pictures of him saying like you were such a great man and it wasn't always bad and we'll always remember you like just again really cryptic and then she messaged with like he was He's dating like some girl there who's like 18. Shocking. And she's 
posted the picture of that girl. She's like, this is the girl that you should contact if you want information about Paul. And then Mm -hmm. uh, she contacted his mother and she sent back screenshots of that weird conversation where he's like, I fucked up. I fucked up really bad. And now uh, the status is Paul is probably still alive. That, That was released this morning. The conspiracy theory. Okay. What if the thing with the life insurance throws me off? So what if it's something where she was like, they had made this plan. And that way, if he goes missing for a certain amount of time, they get the life insurance because he's presumed dead. Well, they're doing a piss poor job of like uh, making it seem innocent at this point. (laughs) I don't think either of them are that bright or you know like plan ahead and uh i don't know i don't know life insurance wouldn't apply okay that's just oh, yeah. i mean karini of anyone uh date with know. k and k any mention see i'm gonna believe anything that she says because she's a true crime expert any mention of life insurance perks up on my dateline trained ears yep yeah, but i get but which thing. wouldn't she not get life insurance because they're not married anymore did, are they technically divorced? Like they, I think they actually so. got it all done. I think. Well, the kids then. I don't know. Or she has a spot a sponsorship <laughs> with the Colonial Pen. Colonial Pen. Pen. <laughs> <laughs> God, remember those That's commercials? Hilarious. <laughs> That's hilarious. Hey, honey, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just filling out a life insurance policy from Colonial <laughs> Pen. <laughs> Uh, I wanted to circle back to you. Kelly asks, uh, she missed my little I saw that too, yeah. cute decor. Um, what did I do in that room? And a granite She's update. getting her entire house update. like renovated. I, f- I-, I picture them just picking up your entire house, moving it out, and then moving in like a man, a Robin mansion. Because you're constantly getting <laughs> shit redone. All. Not at all. <laughs> Um, so my work office will be like in the dining room where I was recording before this. I'm in my bedroom. Um, but I do have my recording studio set up. I still will use it, but I just have a bunch of stuff thrown in there for storage right now. Um, hopefully in like a month and a half, everything will be done. So, and it's not total renovation. It's like repainting, whatever. But so that's that. But uh, oh, that okay. granite is in a landfill somewhere. Bye bye. No, people have been asking for a picture of your new granite. You don't okay, have to I'll do it now, it. but maybe post post yeah. it on the group. By the way, join sure. our Facebook group. Um, right. Oh yeah, you can be, give your life insurance to anyone. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, I know nothing about those people. I know that they were on 90 Day Fiance um, and that they're... The life insurance thing is just too weird. That's too timely. Yeah, it was like within a couple of days. But as far as now, um, it looks like he's possibly alive. Now, here's my favorite story of the week because the schadenfreude of it all is just too good. Um, are you following this Burning Man situation? Because God damn it, do I enjoy this. It's reading very fire festival. I mean, but like ugh, my favorite things are the videos of people being like, yeah, no, we're still having fun though. No, we're like, we, we partied all night. It was really fun. And it's like, okay, you have like trash bags, um, duct tape to your legs and feet right now. Uh, you're not having fun. This sucks. Wait, why do um, they have trash bags? Duct tape. Do you not know what happened? Feet. Because because it's flooded and they're they're oh, like you're on saying, a like, playa. Or something. Okay. Yeah, the, everyone's just walking around with like tr- like full like glad like garbage bags that's like duct tape to their feet. And oh. I just listen. I don't really know that much about Burning Man. They're, they're totally straight. Society is like you wanted to do this, y'all can handle it. But um, yeah. There's this. Uh, it's kind it's like one a of the their- bit maybe just maybe i would love to hear louis ck's take on that i mean yeah, maybe it's careful maybe it's, uh, this, the universe's way of like you know sorting things Weeding out, out yeah and, yeah like maybe maybe this is the gene pool <laughs> which is why there's so many shark attacks coming it's like well you're in their uh home floating around like an idiot um yeah. but 
They uh, there's a really good episode of Doughboys. It's one of their Patreon episodes, but Jordan Morris is the guest, and their new producer Amelia. She's been to Burning Man twice, and Jordan Morris had just gone to Burning Man, and they're talking about it. And the whole time, Nick and Mitch are like, "This sounds like the worst fucking time ever." Amelia, it's just complete dust, and the dust like gets ingrained into your like into your skin nope. everyone's walking around naked um but and she said that oh, it's God. impossible to sleep at your body because it's so hot it's like 114 degrees this is night. actual hell this is no actual this is uh, and then you're just talking to people that you don't know you're paying you're paying you're paying like a thousand dollars to do this and Ugh. yeah and like people just say it's like rich people pretending to slum it um and, like, I respect people who do it for, like, I guess the right reasons. I don't know what right reasons there are, but it sounds fucking miserable. But you meet friends, yeah. I guess. I, you make new friends and, you know, keep the old. I heard there's, like, poop buckets and everything because... It's... Yeah, it's, it's, it's like it's like that Woodstock documentary. And so, like... Someone said, yeah, it reads very Woodstock 99. It's and like the the porta potties are all like overflowing, like Jesus Christ! And Amelia is like, yeah, you just you have a bucket in your tent, you just shit in there, and she's like, you can't sleep. Wait, the and buckets you're... are like a yearly thing. This isn't just because you like bring your you bring your stuff with you. So like, if you want, I would just bring a bucket on it. I would rather shit in a bucket in my tent than shit in a porta potty. That four thousand. Okay, so other then people where have used. where is that shit going though? That's in the bucket. I don't know. You, you like pour it into. It? I guess you pour it into it, but you have to take everything with you upon leaving, which is the whole thing. Like, you come with what you have and you leave, like, leave not a trace is their thing. Like, leave not a trace. So cool. So, uh, so they're in, like, well, the desert. Well, that poop's gotta go somewhere. It's getting dumped somewhere. <laughs> you just, like, swing the trash bag over your head and fling well, it. <laughs> you poop at night and you just keep the bucket in the tent with you i really like, don't i don't know the logistics of this jody just like i just listened to that episode and i remember just thinking like i wouldn't i you couldn't pay me a thousand dollars to do that yeah no no i'm well it's i mean first the of all, heat factor turn, itself yeah he no naked no 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 um, babe but she said that, that she said that, 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 that there would be like there. there would be like stations because they build this city so it's like art. They all these different like stations. Fart. It's the best but, fart of all. It's the, the farts. best farts of all the farts. And she said she was walking around and like there was like this like communal shower, like this outdoor shower. And she was so desperate to get a shower because there was just dust encrusted in oh, her. Oh, the lotion life. I would need. Ugh. I know. And so she went in there, but they're like, you have to be naked to do this. So everyone's just walking around naked, taking showers together. I'm like, what is appealing about this? To say, like, ooh, I did it. I'm so cool. I don't want to be naked in my own house. Yeah. Mm. But yeah. anyway, so they're on a playa, and it's all, like, dirt and mud and sand. What is a playa? So, Does that mean beach? It's the word that everyone keeps using, playa. So I'm just, I'm just okay. repeating it. Got it. But it got flooded out, and the ground is fucking, like... It's like quicksand, and they're not allowed to leave. They can't drive on it. They're like fucked. Oh, so God, how long is, is this supposed to last? There, people are finally starting. To, Chris Rock was there, and he like hitchhiked his way out. Really said, there's so, like, yeah, that he hiked out. Yeah, there's a video of him like on TikTok being like, "Yeah, I made it." It's just like he's in the back of this pickup truck with a bunch of people. Fucking crazy. I have pictures. Let me um let me find let me find some of these. Yeah, pictures. I don't see anyone here saying that it sounds like a great time. Oh like here. And it's hot while all this is happening. And well, I don't think it's that hot here. I think they're actually cold, which I mean I'd honestly rather these oh. conditions than a hot day. Yeah, for sure. I don't want to die like that. No. Like this I is I'd rather die hiking out of there. Yeah, so but the ground is just fucked and they can't is drive. That there. What is that rhubarb? Is that rhubarb? Is that rhubarb? No, it looks like rhubarb, but it's actually spinach. Oh, it's green. It's <laughs> so I just think it's really funny, and I just love the the videos of people pretending like they're still having a great time. It's like, no, you're fucking not. No one has water. They're not allowed to like enter or leave. I think they're finally leaving now, but like, 
And people are starting to leave, but not taking anything with them. So the leave no trace oh. thing is not happening. Now there's just like a garbage pile out in the middle of the playa. Well, they're just going to burn it, I would assume, right? Just burn it up at the end. Like, I feel like there should be an allowance for a situation like this. Like, you don't have to bring all of it with you. Or just don't do this, because this is stupid. If you if you like Burning Man, that's fine. I don't judge you. I could no, never oh, do it. I just could never do it. Yeah. No. I don't have that kind of... I don't even like bringing a sweat around a no. pool and having oh, no. it like, ugh. it's just a lot of work. The so thirst, I, oh, I'd be so thirsty. Well, that's hungry. the thing. Oh, the water. that would make... the poop though. That, like my body has a way of just like shutting in that down. But it's so hot. Oh, the sweat. God, the under boob sweat, like sweating through your bra and for like, sleeping oh. like how miserable is that if you don't sleep the whole night smelling because like you're... shit yeah everything's muddy and caked and dry Ugh. no see everyone's is, agreeing is with music us. there is this music or is that yeah control? it's like music and it's it's more i think it's more considered like an art exhibit but it's like communal and you meet all these friends but i'm like i don't want to meet friends yeah i, think I have just, the I think six friends out. that i like and that yeah exactly <laughs> I've aged out of making new friends. Uh, oh, they don't yeah. wear bras. They just let it all hang out. Well, that sounds extremely uncomfortable. I'm not wearing a bra right now. Oh, lucky. All my bras come up like too high. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing a, I'm wearing my sister wife's closet uh, ring on oh, a necklace. Oh, oh, that's a really good idea. I was going to yeah. play that when we get ready for sister wives because I got my trust each and every Oh, I'm like, I'm like Carrie when Aiden uh, proposes to her and she wears it on a, on a necklace. Okay, so that's all I really have for hot topics. You got? Oh, I thought you were going to do the little um, thing to wrap it up. I thought oh, you were gonna do yeah. The little... Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Oh, wait, there's no sound. For some reason, I have one in here that doesn't have sound. Okay, great. That's even better. Oh, I love it. <laughs> All right. Do you want to get into uh, what are we watching, or do you have any? Do you have any hot topics? Well, I've already. Uh, it I no, I do not. All right. I'll tell you something I just watched though, but we got to get. Okay. Well, first. But... Love it. <laughs> I love that there's 3D glasses on here too. I mean, I must have shown... Are there 3D glasses? Yep. Oh, yeah, next to the popcorn. The okay. popcorn. Ooh, you popcorn. sound like Phyllis. The, the, the microwave... Popcorn. That microwave smells like popcorn. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, really quickly. Uh, Claim to Fame has finally wrapped up. And fucking... Oh, this, my God. Fucking finally. Donny Osmond's fucking son made it third. He almost won. And I think the producers had to, like, feed the name Donny Osmond to the other two contestants because all of a sudden the name Donny Osmond's in the mix and it's like you had no idea who that was until the producers told you. Okay. There could be like maybe that was strategy because they knew like obviously he's not going to come in first because people will guess Donny Osmond so leave him in there towards the end because automatically then that bumps us up to first or second place. I guarantee you these people did not know who Donny Osmond was. Oh, God, that's a when shame. there is a clue that says Technicolor Dream Technicolor Coat. Dream Coat. Yeah. Jeez. And also, oh, also, uh, his face. Yeah. His face. He's carrying <laughs> that's all you Johnny need. Osmond on his head. Yeah. Like, his clue, because they, like, go into, like, this, like, vault and they, like, reveal clues for the per person. His clue should have just been, look at his face. Yeah. Look at like, him. You're an idiot. Uh, just yeah. obviously. <laughs> That's the clue. Yeah. Obviously. Obviously. Uh, so that's all wrapped up. Um, what did you watch? I just watched this afternoon uh, as we were, I'm cleaning out the basement in the garage. Because like, you're just, getting like, it renovated. Yes. A yes. new house. Just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, put on BS High, which actually Justine oh. was talking about with Julie on Resting Bitch Face Pod. Okay, that's why I've heard um, it. It's about this guy named Roy, who total Michael Barnett vibes, like that narcissistic that? sociopath con artist. Oh, Natalia Grace's dad. Ah, yeah, okay, so yeah. He would, yeah. he would 
gesticulate with the back of his hands like this. Yeah. Um, and he basically made up this fake high school football team. There was never a high school. There was a football team. And then they played this really good team and they just got demolished. I, it looked like you and you and I went out there to play football against like is the this, Super Bowl. Um, is this like a scripted show or is this a documentary? It's a documentary on Max. Okay. But it's like an hour and a half. You need to resend me your information on that. Oh, you mean G's information? Yeah. You need to resend me lowercase G's uh, information, uh -huh. please. Because yeah. I, I got no logged idea. out. <gasps> okay. okay. But yeah, but good? I should I should watch this? I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. I mean, because it's, it's always fun to just watch a con artist be so blatantly smarmy and gross but he thinks no one else is picking up on it. I don't it. like sports like Even the filmmakers. Stuff, it's not really about the sports. Oh, okay. Like you don't have All to right. know like a position or anything. It's just like how he took advantage of these kids and um, he's just smarmy and he's gross and ugh, I don't know. I think he'd like it. All I mean, right, I'll Doc check it out. Be like, oh, can you imagine this guy? Oh my god. I didn't look at my phone like during when I was watching with Justine and Blair last night. And like when I finally got home and looked at my phone, there was like 26 texts from Daphne. Oh, about sister wives? Cool. Or not just Daphne, but like her, my auntie Kim, just, yeah, just sister wives. It's just so, oh, this so funny. Guy. What do they say? Oh, who does he think? <laughs> and she goes, oh, good one guy. I, um, I love that one. I watched, I watched a movie. Okay. So, you know, on TikTok, like where you'll scroll and you'll get like a, I don't know, 10 minute clip of some movie. Like mm -hmm. my girl I'm currently watching through TikTok right now. Um, he stuff like glasses. He needs yeah. His glasses. Which is also free on Netflix, but I prefer to just watch it on TikTok, like yeah. in 10 minute segments, you know, easier. Yeah. But one came up of for this movie called The Deep End of the Ocean, starring Michelle Pfeiffer. And it's about like a boy that gets kidnapped, but then he like shows up and like come, he like, he like lives in the middle in of the ocean. No, I don't know what oh. the ocean even has to do with anything, but mm. it's honestly like one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. And I really recommend everyone watch it because it's so okay. bad. It's so bad. It's this kid that gets kidnapped and then he like shows up nine years later and he's like, hey, uh, lady, you want me to mow your lawn? Uh, here's my card in case you want me to you know, mow your lawn. And then she's like kind of recognizes him. And then he gets integrated back into the family there's no conflict whatsoever. He's just oh, like happy go lucky. Everyone gets along kind of. Then he wants to no, go back to his, his Oh, go ahead. <laughs> he goes back to his dad at one point, like his like fake dad, who didn't know that any of this was happening. And then um and then he just comes back at the end and plays basketball with his brother. And I was like, that was it. He was like so fine. He, he was so fine coming back to the, the deep end of the ocean. The deep end of the ocean. Here's the uh Here's the screen cap for okay. she, Michelle Pfeiffer's great in that, I will say. Well, that's not her head. Like, who is that? <laughs> I don't know. Michelle Pfeiffer. It's supposed to be Michelle Pfeiffer. Wow. Anyway. Okay. Um, it, was, it was really bad. So you would say that the plot is the exact opposite of Face on the Milk Carton starring it's, it's, Kelly Martin. It's basically the same plot as Face on the Milk Carton, but they just don't get into any of the drama that would happen to a child okay. when at age 12. Where Kelly they Martin's get... like, I don't want to call you daddy and have yeah. you kiss me on the forehead goodnight on the first night back home. Do you know why uh, Face in the Milk Carton gives me like PTSD? Because it's my most it's my most recent post on Facebook two days before I broke my ankle. Oh my God. And you remember and like, I, that? I, I, I remember that because I posted my like ankle picture, like my x-ray oh. above it. So I like, I know that like the, the thing I did right before I broke my ankle was have a lovely day drinking coffee and watching face in the milk carton. <laughs> and then like two days later I broke my ankle. <laughs> To the point where Justine and Blair were showing me around their house, and I just kept being like, "You go first, you, you like up the stairs because it like takes me <laughs> you so go first. fucking." Well, because I have to go down like one stair at a time, turned sideways, holding onto the railing. <laughs> Great. Um, Are you like a kid who like sits on their bottom and just like scoots up, scoots down? I mean, I might as well be. It's fucking embarrassing. Sure. I watched this show um, called, it's on Amazon. You can find it anywhere. I think you can actually find it free on YouTube. 
And it's called Dark Side of Comedy. And there's all these different episodes, like Chris mm. Farley. Just shows you the dark side of, like, what being a comedian's like. But the one that I really, uh, that I watched, because I saw it on TikTok, uh, okay. was uh, Roseanne. It's fucking great. Everyone should really? watch this. Okay. What Roseanne channel is it on? It's... Or network? I don't know. This is from, like, 20 years ago. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, no, no. I think she, it's been since she's been canceled. But, like, okay. it's good. Check out Dark Side of Comedy. It's, it, oh. inter- like, a lot of, like, behind-the-scenes stuff that I'm, happened. I'm going to write this down and uh, Check it like, out. It. I'm going to watch more stuff. So I'm going to watch uh, the Chris Farley one because I'm fucking obsessed with Chris oh. Farley. Um, yeah. Again, then, what do we say? What? The greats. Chris Farley, James Gandolfini, John Candy. All dead. However, Stephen Asante lives on. Stephen Asante. Yep. Um, and then lastly, Jody, if you want to uh, gaze upon the, the uh, little rewatch I did, uh, good old Pirates oh. of Penzance. <laughs> I watched yesterday. For Do no I reason. know Pirates of Penzance? Well, I know you uh, know it. Where am I on the cover? I just. I don't know. Say it's Sergeant of Police is not in there. The he should be. I mean, you know Fucking how good his perfect performance movie. was. Imagine 13 year old Jody. Living Tony Asito. Progressive, ahead of my time. I was like yeah. the original. Gender Bay bending of, for the gods. Yeah. Is it a she? Is it a he? Is it a they? Can you, can you sing some? I am just the sergeant. Oh, God. When I haven't really warmed up. Bills I just some... Oh, okay. <laughs> Tara, Tara, Tara. It's Taren Tara. You always say it wrong, and you were in the show. Taren well, Tara. Again, some of us like to make it our own. Okay, you use your own interpretation of yeah. of the word. Okay, exactly. gotcha. Exactly. Um. Okay. Uh, that's all I have for whatever. Oh, I also rewatched the bear again, and I want to ask anyone. I have, I've taken everyone over to my side. You're the only one standing over there by yourself, babe. Not liking the bear. Everyone else likes the bear. Listen, I know it's amazing. Everyone says it's a great show. It's just not for me. It's not for me. You don't like food. Remember on our episode, I think it was a, was it Anthropologist Move In that's coming out this week? Where you're like, what's that show that, what's your favorite show? Food? (laughs) (laughs) And you meant the bear. It's like, yes. Food. Menu, yes. Food. <laughs> my favorite, Eat. my favorite show is just food. Uh, but okay, anyone else who's watching this, why the fuck is Alex Moffat in it? Alex Moffat is in like two episodes. He has, I think, four lines total for no reason. Why is oh. Alex Moffat in that? Do you know who that is? No. Which one is he? He's on SNL. Oh, okay. he's like one of the Trump brothers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. It's just weird. It's weird that he's in it. But, I mean, that's it. That's all I was watching this week. I was just, you know, gearing up for Sister Wives. All right. Oh, Erica in the house. Hey, Erica. Oh, okay. Ginger Snap said, I am the very model of a modern Major General. Now, that was the the Major General. I was Sergeant of Police. um, Right. When a phone phone and bills is, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tarantara. Yes, but you don't go. Okay, uh, let's get into... I just I just remembered, like, a little move. I think I might have done, like, a little tiptoe move. Like a... Uh, with, with audience. What I would pay to see a video of you um, I, doing that. Listen, I tried to find one, but as, as you know, um, Carol... Carol? Didn't keep items from my childhood. Weird. That's so weird. <sighs> oh, okay, um, uh, let's... Smash that like, guys. Smash the fucking like! And follow us on Instagram and TikTok and Facebook. Uh, let's get into our Brown Family Value Show. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I look at the end when the music is off. But there's still like a, a pee I know. fountain going. I know. There's something <laughs> funny about that. And I don't know what's funny, but I like kept it. Because I kind of cut it off earlier. But I'm like, no, 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 no okay. I want everyone to sit in that for a second. I want them to sit oh, in the sparks. Sit in it like they're a burning man. Just <laughs> yeah. all yeah. over. Now, first of all, at the moment, our, yes. um, our 
boots on the ground correspondent Jean. Look where she is. Oh, she was here. She was there an hour ago. I don't know where she's moved on since An that, hour but. ago? Oh, God. Oh, God. <gasps> she's in she's, Cody's sack? She's in Cody's sack, baby. What? And then... Oh! <coughs> I just, like, swallowed a fly, I think. <coughs> um, then she went... Some flew in my mouth. Um, she... <laughs> then she went... Then she went driving to uh, the rentals, and she took pictures of all four rentals. And she said that Robin the and wow. the rentals, Jaw D, and um, okay, the Sparks. It, it's under the fireworks section. Like I typed in fireworks, so th- that's what that is. But it le- does look like piss um, yeah, on the yeah, graphic yeah. there. Yeah, but yeah. Um, okay, so the map. You know how they show us the map all the time of like where. Yeah where they live she said it's just completely a lie um janelle lives like half an hour away she lives half an hour away from robin and christine live like a couple minutes away from each other but still like not really on the same street janelle lives half an hour away in one direction and mary lives half an hour away at the other direction so it's nothing like what they're telling us but like why would they lie about that because they wanted to make it seem like they were closer to each other than they really were like, okay. oh, they would never live that far away from each other. Okay, well, that's stupid. You know what I mean? I know, I know but what But Mary mean. was so far away. Remember how far away Mary was? What's this? Oh, oh she, yeah, we'll talk uh, about that later. Um, a listener, oh, I don't know if I, she wants me to say her name. Okay, well, I won't say her name, but a, a, okay. a, new, a new friend on Instagram, um, and she, she sent us this picture, because she's like, oh, I'm doing a rewatch of... Um, or I'm doing a re- rewatch and re-listen of you guys. Um, and she's Aww. like, I noticed that you guys like, uh, we were talking about the handsome woman and she's like, oh, she, mm. yeah. Like what, how many people was who <sighs> win, uh, when? married to, and like, what do they look like? And she somehow found this picture and sent it to us. Oh, oh no. And I was like, how did you find that? And she's like, cause I'm nosy. And I was like, fuck yeah. All right. So here's, here's a picture of all of Wynn's handsome women. Oh. I mean, all right. I mean, Grandma, Grandma Janelle is the most handsome. She's the handsomest of them all. Yeah. Oh, wait, could you put that back up? Grandma yeah. Cheryl's in there. I think Cheryl was a looker. Look at how oh, happy sure. Cheryl is. Actually, I think the gal on the end, on the other end, in the white sleeveless cardigan. Yeah, she, yeah she's, she's sassy, she's I think. She's got some charm to her. Yeah, yeah I, like, I her. like her. She's got some life in her. Now the three in the middle just look very sad. <laughs> But Janelle is the fairest oh, in all the land, Janelle. a.k.a. the most handsome. Ew, Cody Wynn Brown's dad got all those handsome women. How? <laughs> I mean, they're handsome, man. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, okay, Generational so... handsomeness. <laughs> Except for Cody. <laughs> um <laughs> One really quick thing is um, I got a notification on Friday that Mary was going live. So obviously Friday's with friends. And it was like her walking through the streets of New York with the wind just blowing like. <laughs> and she's like, hey, everyone, it's me, Mary. I'm just walking in New York. So here I am. I'm like, you didn't. You could just cancel it. She's a gal in the city. God. She's gotta and, show how happy she is. I'm so happy. So well, happy. now you know she was in the city, and she took a little trip to a little tourist trap called the M M&M and M Factory. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she, here's a picture. Oh, why the brown one? <laughs> Out of all the she's not giving up that on, name, man. On the brown. <laughs> <laughs> she wow mary i mean look at the eyes she's the like eyebrows the eyebrows she though. looks okay in this picture actually well i mean there's obviously a very heavy filter well, do you think there's the a filter eyebrows... on both of us right now too though yeah sure um but we're <laughs> but i mean the brown m and m Brown. Yeah, you're my last name. Now. You can upgrade. You can upgrade though from the. Brown. But that's been her name for thirty years. Like I wouldn't change my name either. My mom didn't change. Yeah, but my I'm, name. Not gonna, I'm not gonna. Certainly not gonna lean into it and buy a brown M and M shirt. Like, why are you going to the M and M store? Good lord. The uh, eyebrows you... on the M M&M and M shirt, though. I think that's a. I think that's a troll, Robin. 
Because those eyebrows are a Kim. I mean, Mary's ago. walk. I, 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 I'm really wondering what they're doing with this season. If it's going to be Janelle's season of like leaving, or if they're going to combine them. Because Mary is turning on this shit. Oh uh, you guys are hilarious in the comments. <laughs> unsexy. Everyone's talking same. about the brown. Unsexy. I hope she got laid. About? I hope she got some New York D. No fucking way. There's no she way. Goes on Tinder. Some. No, she does not. Absolutely not. She could. What if there's like a, a Matt Bayer out there who watch who for some reason watches Sister Wives? Like I, he fuck her. Uh, I don't. Think I mean, she gets into it. I think she thinks she can. Get no, into I, th- it. I, th- I think she's gonna. Once she finds someone, she's gonna experiment like crazy, like Christine most likely has. Um, yeah. Let me go through these pictures really quick. Okay, okay, yes, yes. Good, oh, that's good, a good. cute one. Yeah, I'm just making sure, like, what all these are. Okay, they, these are, okay, yes, good. Okay, that, that's fine. Uh, that's Burning Man. What's Ew. this? Ew. Oh, here's Howie. Uh, oh, just, just so you know, uh, Howie got uh, sent, like, an entire, like, thing of vintage cheese. It was, like, $100. Somebody sent this to this fucking crab. And just so you know, crab she's eating cheese. She eats everything Jody, and Howie also. Um, she she's eaten most of her most of her exoskeletons so far for the calcium, Jody, and the rest of it is just, just kind just of like turn my floating around the cake. Gross. I'm never <laughs> eating any sort of seafood crustacean. It's so sick. All right. Um, really quickly, Ew. I just wanted to say this because Janelle. Okay, Janelle's got some up close shots in this episode. Like really? really, yeah. Okay, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm, I, I'm not even gonna pick up my computer. Um, but I realized that she looks like Hannah. Shit, what's her name? Waddingham from Ted Lasso. She's also like a big like Broadway West End girl. And look, mm. so here's a picture of her. No, does that okay. not look like Janelle? I see what you're saying. I think it's like the eyes and the teeth are getting it for you. She does not have Janelle's teeth. Well, also, Janelle, Janelle, ha- Janelle has her hair has... quaffed in this episode, too. Oh, Janelle okay. has got some yeah, yeah, height. Yeah. You'll, you'll okay, see. Okay, I can see that. Janelle um, has um, some, like, gum issues. Oh, yeah, she does. I don't think she's been to a dentist in a while. Neither have I. Um, uh, okay, I had a question here. Just a food for thought. Okay, who do you think is more... And all of you guys answer, too. Who's more important to the show? Cody or Robin? Like, if you had to lift one out and keep one, what would you do? I think you have to keep Robin because everyone hates her. Like, Cody's kind of one note to me. Yeah, actually, I, like, we're he's gonna so hate bad for the in the same episode. things now. But, like, we're going to hate him for the same reasons and just the the Cody Sequa of it all. Uh, right? Robin is truly like you love to hate her. Yeah. Cuz she's so she's well, they're so both so stupid. stupid. Yeah. But Cody, like you can predict what Cody's going to do and I guess you can with Robin too. She makes but, a hilarious joke in this episode and then she goes like off the rails laughing at, at it. And it's like it's the most like non-laugh laugh. Cuz you know how like when she smiles or laughs, it never actually like meets like, her <laughs> eyes. <laughs> yeah. But it's like, yeah, it's, it's more hysterical. of like a mouth. Oh, yeah. Sort of a thing. You're mm. going to love it. Um, okay. And then lastly, um, oh, no, there's two more things. Jean did some investigation, of course, on um, the ear piercing situation. And um, I mean, this isn't really that shocking for any of us like super fans because we know that like the timeline is all warped but like everyone's doing all this investigation that like aurora is seen wearing earrings like all throughout season 17 so obvious and obvious and like they're both not wearing jackets or anything and you know how cold robin and cody usually are so when they go get the piercing so so, chilly yeah so obviously the seasons were taped concurrently so anything Mm -hmm. we see here we need to be looking at like Christmas trees or if they're wearing okay. jackets and stuff. So we need just, just to put that, but, but now here's my thing. I think it's very telling why they kind of saved that for now. Cause I think okay. that the ear piercing thing is so much more important than people think it is. Like, don't you 
Like, they, yeah. they put that in there on episode two for a reason. Like, look at this, everyone. Now, has Gwendolyn watched that episode yet? Or is she do more past? Okay, so that's my next older. thing. Perfect segue. Um, okay. Jean posted, and I don't, I don't, I thought that she wrote this all out, but she didn't. She took it from another post, so I don't feel comfortable reading okay. it, but she she sent like a, a full fucking recap of Gwen doing a live. She went live yesterday, I think, and discussed mm. everything. And I mean, she, I mean, the kids are getting pissed. Like the kids are truly getting like very, very pissed. And, I love it. Um, hang on. Let's see. Let me find it. God, we talk, we talk a lot. Okay. Um, okay. So basically, holy shit, this is like the longest text in the world. Um, the te- okay, so the group chat, now now she's saying that Robin was the one that started the group chat. So now McKelty's saying she started it. They said on the show that Logan started it. And Gwen said that Robin started it. And on the live, Gwen looked at her phone and looked and saw that Robin started the chat. And um, she was tricked into signing a contract with TLC last season. She was supposed to film one episode. Then she ended up being in a whole bunch of episodes and didn't get paid extra for it. Um, Gwendolyn, we're talking about. Gwen, yes. Um, Leon came out late 2021 to family, but Gwen knew beforehand. Okay. Um, so the dead naming thing, that that is TLC's fault. Um, and she, she was pissed about the dead naming. Um, Dayton still lives at home with Robin. That's another thing. Um, she doesn't know why Oof. Robin doesn't let anyone into her house. Um, and she said that the reason that Cody's changed so much is because he started reading a lot of Reddit threads. And he hates being like, he hates his masculinity being um, made fun of. So that, oh. she said that's really, which, I mean, that tracks. Seems like a secure guy. I mean. Totally. He's fifty five years old or something like grow the fuck up jesus um and then she there's a reason cody and robin didn't go to gwen's until two hours late but she's not gonna tell us why which like fucking tell us why i need to know i think okay. it's so that he didn't have to be in pictures with david <sighs> but, but why didn't else have to interact yeah um, okay, well, I heard that if the older girl, or Brianna and Aurora, stayed home because the reception was at a bar, and so that they had to okay, stay home well, to watch. That just the adds to how much of a loser that Aurora yeah. is. Yeah. Um, Gwen thinks that Robin is just acting willfully ignorant, and that Robin yep. still to this day will say, "I never noticed that there were any problems." Um, Cody and Robin are enablers of each other. Um, Gwen texts with Mary really often. They're like friends. They like go out. Mm. Um, and uh, where, where is it? Shit, I can't find it. But she, um, she like the remember how Christine said, "Oh, Gwen tried to get involved in this group chat, and she made it really worse." And then yeah. it was in there somewhere, but it like wasn't bad at all. It was like, "Oh, I mm-hmm. think I could have a, a solution, but I don't think everyone's going to take it in the same, um, like with the same." Yeah, in the same vein or in the same spirit or something. Exactly. That's exactly what she said. And that's apparently what made it so much worse. And then people started liking it and like ha ha it. And Robin doesn't like yeah. that. I bet you it's uh, someone else had mentioned the same thing where I could see it being where Logan had this idea to do it. And maybe they were texting each other here and there. And then Robin was probably like, well, let's just do one big group chat. And then started it and then was like, well, let's just hop on FaceTime. And then it became a, a whole Well, it's thing. because Saul and Ari don't have cell phones. So she wanted to like, but here, now here's the last thing I'm going to put up before we get into the episode. But um, some, I think it was Elise Carr posted this on our Facebook group. Everyone join our Facebook group. We love to hate TV. And she, t- okay, so like this, this is not going to spoil anything for you, I swear. But this is like the next week on and she took a screenshot of um this moment and you're gonna fucking lose your mind okay so just look at this so this is robin's house we're in robin's house look at fucking areola she's fucking 25 years old with a binky she's taller than me she's gotta be 
seven or eight there. And why with like the baby hair? We're like, oh, we're just going to trim a little off the front to keep her. And then Solomon in the background has like a full blanket on because he's cold. And Aurora's wearing a shirt that says positive Positive. vibes because she's cool like that. That looks like it's from like Justice. And she's like a high school graduate, right? Yeah, oh, I mean, yeah, I don't yeah. Because remember, the, the her and Gwen, her and Gwen graduated at the same time, and they did that car graduation. Yeah. And of course, Cody was in Aurora's car and not Gwen. Why um, are there so many frames? Look at the art. I know art. the. It's the most ugly art of all the art. All yeah. of it. And then okay, and then somebody else pointed out. <sighs> check out like, check out where that desk, the location of this desk, and like laptop yeah what is that the office oh, area the in office. the in the middle of the living room you have like 28 rooms in this house you're putting your office and desk right there in the middle of their living room they probably put that there for covid or something during oh my you know, god like home schooling but look at I Ariola, mean, and she's holding a baby doll here too yeah no it's like she's walking around like she's a toddler and she's not She's got those like, long legs like Robin. So bizarre. The haircut is what kills me. Like oh that is a parent that's saying, I want, oh, her, her little baby curls. Let's just like trim it up around a little because I want, I want to see her curls in the back. I just looked up at her, our comments and I, I've missed, I've missed 219 comments now. Oh, that's comments. okay. I'm, I'm keeping it. Okay, good. good. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. Yeah, these are overwhelmed. insane. Oh. <sighs> Um, lastly, let's get into a little Instagram action, all right? Oh. No, not, not Cody and Robin. I, I don't want to read their comments anymore because it'll, it, it, all of them are too spoilery for you because you, you haven't watched this. But okay. here, let's see what's okay. going on here. Um, Christine and David Aww. are out. And she That's wrote. That's sweet. That's but, okay, but, picture. but go ahead and read the caption here. This was posted oh, shoot, at, I like. I can't read it. I can't read it. It's too small. Oh, really? Sister Wives just had a. Yeah, I Ironically, Sister Wife just had a commercial break, meaning that she's watching this with <laughs> and And she goes, and stir.com advertise. It's where I met David. Hashtag meant to be. Hashtag irony. Hashtag soulmates. They're like, she like posted this live while the episode was airing. Stir.com. What is it about? I don't know. Is it like Probably a... older people Tinder? Oh. I should get on there. Uh, so just she's uh, she's relentless wanna, you don't want to find a david Woolley. i don't, don't want to find anyone eight kids and grandkids oh you would not like that all i need is walter wait, wait where'd he go walter what are you doing he's like just sitting behind my my chair going like that one um what do we have here that's a great <laughs> photo now let's get the fuck okay oh sorry i knew you're sorry like okay i'm zooming in Truly, oh god, okay, so okay, like, I don't like blow this up. Truly why did you post a this lean to? Truly, isn't a lean to. Um, it is a lean to, that's the perfect definition of what this is a lean yeah. to. And the caption is truly got bored. <laughs> I mean, guys, if you're listening to this did audio she, only, you have to jump on and look at it. Woods. If she Mom, take a picture of me. This is, this is impressive as she made this. This is like naked and afraid. Transition lenses Body. akimbo. Oh, yeah. let's read it. And it's not even sunny out. <laughs> oh, a Janelle. Janelle. It's a Janelle pose. I mean, uh-uh. <laughs> this mug is the version of like, hey guys, just have a great time today. I'm like, daddy, yo, who knew? Can you yeah. read that uh, in Janelle's voice or is it too small? Uh, well, it's an ember mug, guys, and it doesn't look too clean unless that's my screen. It doesn't. Nope, there's things all over it. I think she just like uh, rinses it with water, like like with like cold water, and then it's just, just me. Like, it's just me back. drinking it. Yeah, who cares? Yeah, <laughs> I'm not a slave to coffee in the morning anymore, but I love the ritual. I was given this mug for my birthday that keeps my brew warm as I linger on a lazy Sunday morning. Love it. I love my it. My brew. I don't. I don't want to. I picture more um, Brown family when she uses the term my brew. Yeah, I just I'm picture really shit, sure. an explosive diary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's another picture of a truly next to the What the fuck? That is so scary. <laughs> oh my God. This is like Blair Witch. It is. It's shit. scary. This is really scary. It's Blair Witch shit. I don't want to like 
Even my, my mom's like, God, she just needs to take off that toque already. Yeah, <laughs> it's the hat with the transition lenses. She's I mean, going like, through listen, a phase. God love her. I, I mean, please. Everyone had, went through this The phase deck was stacked age. against this kid, and she's somehow <laughs> thriving, I yeah, guess. This is another part of Truly Got Bored. If she made this, <laughs> do we know if she made this lean to? Because like, if she oh, just, like, fashioned this. Thing I didn't even put together that own. she made this. I thought the boredom was just, oh, I found this now. Take a picture. Well, that's of me what I'm wondering. It. That's what I'm wondering. Like, if she just found it, I'd, I'd be like, oh, well, that's totally like a truly thing. Like, she finds it and she's like, yeah, mom, take a picture of me. This is like, this is so fucking cool. Put this on your Instagram. Mom. I mean, gotta gotta love them. I she guess she might have made that. She might have made that. I can see it. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, Sometimes, of course, there's, of course, there's two dogs bins in the back. Oh, yeah, she still hasn't unpacked since like the episode we're about to watch. Um, it's two dogs looking at. Can't see their faces. You can't see what they're looking at. But <laughs> no. And it just says, "Someone eating is always the best dog entertainment." <laughs> Okay. It's so really I assume that the, the best dogs... entertainment for dogs, not the best dog entertainment. Okay, but like, all that aside, whatever they're looking at should be in the picture so that we understand the fucking context of this shit. Yeah. Or like, let uh, us see the dogs' faces, or yeah, zoom up a little bit so we can see what they're looking at. Okay, there's Mary. Um, now there was a there was a red moon the other night, and Jan you better you gotta know that I Janelle. Guess so. Was on top of it. Life. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. For, for, first she posted this one, which is a terrible picture. <laughs> wow. Janelle. She goes, Janelle. next one like this is in 14 years. So go out. So get out and do a little moon bathing. It's gorgeous. Hashtag Skywalker. And then she writes, it's special because it's a blue moon and a super moon. Basically, second full moon in the month. And the moon at its nearest point to the earth for the year. So it's really bright. And also, the, again, the, the text is covering the entire picture. <laughs> you can't see anything. it. It looks like a moon. It's a moon. A white moon. Yep. Uh, the one before was really bad. And it like a, this a one... reflection of the moon. And there's also just like a, an aura around an it. An aura. There's an aura. <laughs> it's picking up some kids' LED lights in their room. So there's like bright mm -hmm. purple lights from someone's window. But she needed us to know this information. God love her. God love her. You know? Okay. Now let's get ah. into this fucking episode. Everyone's ready. One family do everything. Whoops. Um, okay. Now, do you know anything about what you're about to see here? Because it's intense. There's some intense shit I happening. know nothing. No. Okay. So okay. Well, after this, in. you should you need to go on our Facebook group and look at all the work everyone... Okay. There was like... There's like 50 posts from today. There were just people like... And with all like 70 comments on each one. Like it's... I mean, you need to go and engage in this shit because it's okay. so insane. I do think we need um, you, a little you brown I family values as we get into this. It's only right. Everyone geared up. And Jody, yeah. you need to try to be on top of the comments. I, I've, I've now missed 317 oh. comments. Oh, it's okay. All right. Uh, we, do we want the previously on? No. No. Oh, we know what happened. We know exactly oh, what happened. Oh, I'm at one minute and 18 seconds. Walter, why don't you go to your spot? And stop being weird. All right. Um, let's do it. Ready? Three, yep. two, one. 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 Oklahoma, baby. My brother Michael and my dear friend Nathan and I like to do man trips. We've gone out to Brian's place. An hour long shower with men. My dear <laughs> friend Nathan. We've gone out to Brian's now, Do you remember which one Nathan is? Because he's the cross-eyed guy that lost his voice and, and officiated Aspen's wedding. Oh, all the jokes have been made, I'm sure, already. We're the oh. third podcast to come out. <laughs> so, oh, okay, got it, got it. Okay, so... Uh, gas, yeah. oh yeah, but, oh yeah, Jody. I should have told you this. Cody oh, has okay. learned the word gaslight 
this week. Oh, okay. And Fun. my God, are you going to hear it a lot? Okay, I think okay. it's said like 20 times. At okay, least. Okay, I, I have some uh, kombucha, so I will fill her up and I'll sip okay. away on my kombucha during this hour-long shower. Maybe I'll take ahead of my vape. Win. A gay. A gay. A gay. <laughs> we came together and gave you a golden shower. Um... <laughs> Let's have some meat. Hit some your vape pen with meat. me, guys. Give me some of your meat. Didn't work. I didn't charge it. All right, let's do it. <clears throat> in Oklahoma, <laughs> my brother Michael's in his mid-30s. He's a generation oh, younger than me. Michael. I wasn't raised in polygamy. My mom and dad taught me about polygamy when I was young, but they didn't become polygamous until I was an adult. I have five sisters, and then there were five boys. Very me. handsome, we know. Nathan's been a dear friend of mine for years. He is a fundamentalist Mormon, and he's been mm. married and divorced in plural marriage. No. So he's actually had what? that experience. That man has had sex with at least two women. I wonder why they divorced him. I mean, I, I mean, I I want to say, oh, he seems nice, but I can't possibly believe that any polygamous men are nice. Or like, and who would are be of value to me? Dear friends with Cody, my dear friend. But and he's related to them somehow. I think he's like, was he ma somebody? Somebody has to know in the comments. He's 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 related to them. Somebody he's maybe Mary's brother-in-law or something. Maybe he's married to Cousin. Mary's sister. Someone saying. I mean, yes, again, they're all related mm -hmm. somehow okay. in there. So, like mine, where he's got a wife that he loves at home. And another wife that he loves, who's leaving him? <laughs> Brian's not a polygamist. He's mainstream. Now, Brian is the one, if you remember, who asked Cody to officiate his wedding last season. And we got to see Cody, um, Cody's dance skills, if you will. Yeah. 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 To the mariachi River music dance. in the background. Yeah. Brian was the consummate back. And Brian, like, married. It was, like, clearly, like, a 90-day fiancé type marriage. Because the girl was, like, 20 and, like, from Brazil or something. So, yeah. like, come on now. Bachelor until a year ago. Mary's brother-in-law. Okay. Sure. I'm sure they're probably also related through blood somehow. All I'm thinking yeah. about is the fact that she's leaving me. And I All right. Now, you see Cody on the couch there. I want to say, um, could Cody's pants possibly be tighter? But the answer to that is yes, because then... Then we get a flash shot of Nathan in his pants, and he's yeah. busting out of the. June is busting out all over in Nathan's what? pants. They are. I mean, they tight. I mean, he didn't. He didn't think of that beforehand that I'm going to be seated. And, and clearly, uh, listen. If any of them were women, they would have what on their laps, ladies? A pillow. We There's a know. pillow next I to him know, there, an unused arm. pillow. This is it's right there dum -dums. for you. It's the one thing women know. You yeah. put a pillow on. You your put a back. pillow. So um, you also, can breathe. And not so he's in Oklahoma. Stomach. Was that established? I don't think I put that together until now. So he's in Oklahoma for some reason to have this conversation. He's in Oklahoma. It's a for this Nathan. conversation. Your friend Nathan and his brother. Who's his dear friend. Mm -hmm. Okay, because they, because just so you know, spoiler, we're not coming back to this after this. This is just oh. a standalone scene of Cody for some Cody... reason in another state. Well, because Cody, he likes an hour long shower with guys. Oh, a oh, guy's Lord. afternoon in, a gay. Just bro time. <laughs> I have friends. This is Cody's I have friends. My scene. dear friend. God. I'm bitter and I'm yelling about it. I've been whining to these three gentlemen about my divorce with Christine for a while. And this is like God, a they love that. men's group, a therapy session for me. Well, that's why I said to Blair. I'm like, Blair, when you get together with your man friends, do you all just sit around and talk about the like, oh, relationship? Yeah. Yep. That's How's your wife doing? They yeah. love that. When one guy comes in and just starts talking about his his wife. No, I've, I've seen like, I've seen TikTok videos of like men coming home from like a day of golf with his friends and the woman's like, oh, how's the, how's his wife doing? How's the new baby? And he's like, oh, I didn't yeah. think to ask. Yeah. Right. Oh, did they like get a divorce? And yeah, well, I don't know. They seem, he seemed fine. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. It didn't come up. So, okay. So like, you know, with grief, you have the stages of grief. 
And I'm assuming that with divorce, it's the same type of a thing. Because you kept kind of being like, you know, I can't really believe this is happening. It was definitely disbelief. Yeah, she moves my boxes all out into the garage. Ooh. And can't get, he can't get over those boxes in the garage, huh? No, he, can't, he, really he cannot can't. get over that. It bothers him he's so brought much. It up in, he's brought it up in the past two episodes. And Robin did too. I think he's brought it up in every episode since the middle of season 17 when it happened. I have been look moved how, out of my house. Look how Cody's sitting on the couch. I know, this with his skinny version, jeans. <laughs> this is the version of um, like that high school theater girl who just like, like props herself up on the edge of the stage or like sits on the countertop like perched mm. yep just like curls up yeah. ew how are you he's, bending like that he's sitting like a gynecological exam and it's gross <laughs> it's like his his, his, uh, his feet are in the stirrups it looks like yeah oh and he's like sitting up to talk or to like breathe or push something out gross oh too bad i'm so shocked from the moment your stuff's all packed up. Yeah. It's like, what's going on? Oh, I'm still in the... This conversation is riveting. Yeah, I mean, your stuff's all packed up. What's going on? Wow, this conversation is really... Yeah. Let's Jesus. ask these... These guys will know the answer. The relationship yeah. issues. The one who hasn't I mean, gotten these married until he's 50-some years old. Maggie Ball and says, man spread a Kimbo. Yeah. yeah. Ask me to officiate his wedding. And then we got Jingle Nuts next to him wearing tan jeans, by the way. Good one, Nathan. Uh, three sizes too tight. Yeah, at least he's distracting from his other features. Which is okay, so like you find out you're going to be on TV seated from almost oh. a downward angle. Are you wearing this outfit? Oh, God. No, there's a boho top that's just oh. like. I mean, I'm swimming in whatever there. I'm wearing. I'm so yeah. tiny. Again. Like, I'm calling Nathan's house ahead of time or whoever's house. Do you have throw pillows? How yeah, like many a big pillows one. do you have yeah. on the couch? Right. Like a euro size. Yeah. With a sham. Like, like you're seeing, you're, like you're seeing exactly this much of me. Oh, <laughs> I, I want to be a pillow person. Just like, <laughs> hey, I'm here. Yeah. It's really put your AC all the way down because I'm coming in. <laughs> like, I, I'm wearing a sweater. hoodie and I'm putting uh -huh. a pillow on. Okay. I'm super skinny. It, under it's this. over now. Yeah. Christine's left. But I'm still feeling a lot of anger about sort of fallout, sort of the civil war with the family. Again, it's civil war. He, he's learned about the civil war and he's learned the word gaslight. <laughs> it's the one unit in like high school that he really... So oh, yeah, on was the Civil War unit because he could really he relate to everything. the South. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think he, yeah. was, he was on a certain side of history. Yeah, yeah. the oppression that he felt. Yeah. he's like those the, fuck, like, the, the, the North. Fuck them. Yeah, it and was so going so good called. until the North decided to stick their noses and everything. Yep. All right. Yep. Oh, Janelle. Uh, J you, uh, Jody, you forgot your trusty Janelle, Jody. <laughs> That's Thank you, Rue Leslie. <laughs> All right. my oh. <laughs> Put your ring on, too. I, oh, I got, I got my ring. Okay, okay, let's go. Very right. beginning. In the beginning, the first reaction was relief. I went from that to I went to anger. Because what I started doing was literally going online and trying to research if you're getting a divorce, how do you oh. sort of how do you manage keeping the things amiable? So, Cody, a 55-year-old adult bye-bye yeah. had yeah. to go and, like, Google, well, when you get a divorce, like, what do you do? How do you, how do you manage that? Or you could just be an adult and, like, suck it the fuck up. Or call a therapist. Or, um... Oh. I mean, really what he should be doing is asking Robin about how to find things on the internet because she's had an online boutique, strong woman, for strong woman. several years. Yeah. I mean, they um, did they did turn over sales in a one one hundred thousandth of a percent rate. That'll and I, never once not again, be funny. <laughs> we are not making that up. That we did the math. Is not an exaggeration. We did the math. 
how many hits they had, uh, how many sales Kyra they Dell, had. Kyra Dell says Cody would totally do Civil War reenactments. Um, yeah, I think we know what color he's wearing. On that. You know, he would he would like like a brave heart. Like, or, or like a, well, he def- um, I, I think he's definitely on the same the linear line as Mel Gibson for sure. Pre-Minocta. Politics wise. Pre- right, Latrice, Pre- I need you to just. Is that right. what it's called? Pre- Pre-Minocta that was on The Office. Oh, I don't know that. Or like the king or whoever the ruler was the one to de-virginize the women on the wedding night oh. before they were husbands. Oh. Okay. Uh, just s- okay. stay there. All right, here we go. So we, oh God, Nathan is busted out of those pants, man. Kids and stuff like that. And what it is, is just the, this really big, like, walk away from women movement. And it's about angry men who have been left. And I think that might have been a touch of poison because I got angry. So I'm going around to Robin and to Chanel. And they feel like I'm a woman hater. Like Robin actually said, this is affecting our relationship in a terrible way. I mean, I got Robin. Good. Cody's process through this divorce and he's all isn't there always such a jump scare when she arrives on our screen her oh god is so severe and the goiter the goiter it's that the hair, robin robin like, yeah and it's just like it's this all over the place this. i mean one minute he's angry another minute he's very upset and sad and then another minute he's like in this peaceful place where he's like maybe this was meant to be and then he goes back to the anger thing again sounds like a great environment to live in Mm. (laughs) that minute to minute his mood drastically changes well i mean it's the women's fault if they would just get in line it's all the women's fault except for robin signed up for we wouldn't have to go through all this. Just respect so him. So you like be sitting there talking to him, and he just goes down this kind of crazy wild ride, and all of a sudden you're on the Cody coaster. Ah, it's, it's scary. <laughs> Wasn't that a funny little joke she told there? I mean that that was that, that was, was scary. scary. That was that was scary. Ah, <laughs> you're on the Cody coaster. <laughs> just. The laugh I don't is want just to think the about opposite of a laugh. <laughs> and Cody doing anything that not now, not then, not now, not ever resembles a roller coaster. Not now, not then, not ever, not in the future. <laughs> I feel kind like it's moments like that where I feel bad for her, kind of. So I'm like, mm-hmm. that's she want, but she does want that kind of relationship. No, she's just lazy and she doesn't want to get a job. That is all that this is about. I don't think that she's, think she's okay into Cody. I do. The thing I kind of want to express to you is when you encounter anger, the root of anger is in two things. It's either in fear or it's in self-delusion or self-deception. You have to look in the mirror and see the good, the bad, and the ugly and, and own everything. He does it every day. I'm okay. still in self Okay, that was kind of mean. He looks like a cross between Corey from Teen Mom 2 and maybe the the dentist elf from uh, Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. I'm getting oh my god, a little totally. Bit. Okay, yes. yeah, yes. He has like the like Herbie wants to be a dentist teeth, and he yeah. definitely has like the Corey from Team Mom. He's he looks like a cartoon kind of like he's unassuming. He's not he's not ugly. He's like kind of a, he's a, a cute little unassuming character. I wouldn't say he's cute. Well, like cute, not like attractive cute, but like cute. He's Actually, like he's, he's you know fine. A lot like Kayla Bruff. That's what other. That's what everyone else was saying too. He was like oh, Caleb, okay. Cor- Caleb, and Corey, with a Caleb which are basically Bruff the same person. Sauce. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Deception, I can tell. So, oh, I, I should be doing timestamps right now. I'm at four minutes and twenty six seconds. There, there was this moment when I, when Christine told me she didn't want to want me. St- standard place anymore where i was ambivalent the reason i was ambivalent i think was literally because i thought she was playing a game so her being gone yeah, relief the fallout with the whole family is grief the sadness the kids struggle with i mean i think the biggest fantasy any child has is that mom and dad love each other all their lives long no i don't know it's, honestly that's the they, greatest they don't fantasy care. of any kid <laughs> yeah well, no, Aurora it's like being rich and like I'm gonna drive a limo. Like that, no, that's everything. He's like, I wanna d I wanna date Justin Bieber. Um, I feel like Aurora literally does sit in her room going, God, I just love my parents, my mom and my no. not dad. 
Yep. I hope they're together yeah. forever. I just want to be best friends with my family, all my brothers and sisters. <sighs> yep. You don't God, go it's there. It's so sad. You don't go go away. It's, it's yeah, just not the, every the, the whole breakup, the <laughs> divorce is. Oh, now I've got this check mark of of shame. Who wants to roll the dice and marriage be 50 50? Especially like, now, maybe this is going to work out. Maybe it isn't. COVID has changed a lot of things in our society. We were just talking about this today. We have another friend that no. just got divorced. Being together during COVID, they couldn't take each other. I always uh, encourage Cody to have his guy time. I think it's important. Everybody needs that. You know, women need women time and men need men time. Hey, Robin, name one female friend right now. Go. Yeah. Women need women time. Men need men time. I always so Cody doesn't to have, have any actual them. friends. Yeah. They're dear friends, Jody. And one of them is his brother. Yeah. And one of them well, is his business partner. We're a generation apart. Yeah. No, they're not your friends. It's You needed someone to film with. They were like, yeah. Yep, that sounds great. Let's Jody, I told you to tell me if you could see down my shirt, and I totally was like, I can't. I could. You, you could just now. I didn't see it's your okay. boobs. Well, you saw some like gross cleavage. Your yeah, you saw some bad, some bad drippy cleavage. Yeah, and Robin right now, money. what would Gob Gobbit? What would Robin's girls' night be? Her women God. time. I don't know. I don't think she's even allowed to drink coffee. And I'm at um, I'm at five minutes and twenty seven seconds, and we got a full beaker going on right now. Ugh. Woof. When we lived in Utah, days. he did it fairly regularly. We used to call it Testosterone Tuesday. Polygamy. Um, they used to call it Testosterone Tuesday. 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 Well, not only it could be a gift where it dilutes personalities. But if I'm married to this woman and she's really cantankerous or I don't enjoy her, but I can't leave, it'd be nice to have another wife because then I can get away from her for a little bit. Or it'd be nice if I'm the one that's cantankerous, she's thinking, it'd be nice if you had another wife so I could get a break from you. You hit on the nose. <laughs> and then if you dilute it more and more and more, I mean, literally go both ways. Literally go both ways. <laughs> that kind of comment just makes me want to vomit. Mary's fucking <gasps> wasted here. Oh <laughs> man, well, well, well. <laughs> Jesus, she's fucking drunk. I love it. Hey, how about how about Cody just isn't cantankerous? How about you? Um, I don't know. Grow the fuck up. And yeah. if you're in a bad mood, just be like, "I'm having a minute. I'm having a day." Not like now, you have to leave the house because you're so annoying to be around. Caitlin's pointing out the fact that, that he used the word cantankerous. This is the thing with Cody is sometimes he'll throw out a big word that you don't yep. think like it doesn't fit in his vocabulary but yep. he somehow is using it correctly and it's like who I think he really has a word of the day calendar cap in hand cap in hand a uh, pink elephant in the room mm. Maybe I, I'm at a ability. I'm at six minutes and seven seconds and Mary's uh, complaining, and nobody has fixed her alfalfa hair yet. St still got that little oh, piece sticking done. out the side there. Yeah. You should look at the whole big picture then in a situation like that and figure out how you can work together and be together instead of using somebody else as an escape. Are you kidding me? How will it be for you if Christine enters into another relationship? I might feel funny when that happens. Yes, mm -hmm. Jules. Funny. Jules's pool OC says like collude. Yes, Cody starts using the word collusion later, and it's like, oh, I wonder where you heard that word from. Do you think Cody is a little extra nervous these days because of all the January sixth sentences? <laughs> I don't want to. Just curious. Okay. It, Just no, he's still president. No, this okay. is all part of the plan, just so you know. Okay. All right. just, I mean, I get, it's not a political podcast, guys. No. <laughs> when that happens, I mean, I feel betrayed, no doubt. But I'm also like going, well, have a good life. I mean, what can I do? I'm not going to be bothered when another guy is in her life. Sure. I don't think. Don't yourself that. Like, what would you do different to save the marriage? There was one time in my life when I realized the biggest mistake I made. 
this house that they're sitting in looks like the like the Airbnb houses that when uh people go on catfish and they go to like their house but it's obvious <gasps> totally. but it's like a fake house because there's yeah, nothing they- on the walls my favorite and they're just sitting on like a big leather like sectional with one uh-huh. single tiny red uh throw pillow yep there's always like a what? fake antique clock sitting on a table somewhere there is yep and there's one and there's yep. two bibles sitting back there in the background there's a clock and two bibles sitting next oh, to it his name was kind of in this yeah, disconnect yeah. situation where she was telling me how much she hated polygamy and my mistake was when she was saying i hate polygamy i was going what the hell you wouldn't have a family you wouldn't have me you wouldn't have our children instead of saying i know it's hard baby i'm sorry i love you and i wish it didn't hurt no, it wasn't just hating polygamy. It was real. He's saying that the one he could have fixed this if that one single time he had just said, "Christine, I get it. I, I understand. I'm sorry." That oh. one. That was the one time. I'm sorry, Not baby. when you tried to murder truly, or when you didn't go to Isabel's life changing back surgery. Well, no, it was it was that one time. In Cody's defense, in seven months, truly won't matter anymore because we're gonna have a new youngest sibling. God, I feel so bad for Truly because she's going to, like, see that. She's going to well, see that. Well, if she doesn't have her transition lenses on, because it's kind of hard to... I mean, it's why? 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 <laughs> why? All right, I'm at it's seven just... minutes and 26 seconds, and Christine is talking about how Cody's full of shit. Realizing that after I gave so much, and I did anything he wanted, and anything he wanted me to do, I did... And, but when I needed help, he said, no, they're not just my kids and my responsibility. They're our children. He's amazing. Super dad helping Robin. He immediately started helping Robin. Oh yeah. I forgot about the, yeah, Judy, like people are just saying what they're thinking now. Like Robin's name is mentioned a few times. Like they actually dare to say the name Robin. Uh, You're going to fucking die. Everything as soon as she came in the family. Back in the house in Lehigh, Utah, I was working 60 hours a week. Christine was asking for things. That- uh, explain right now. Name the 60 hours. What the fuck were you doing a 60 month? hours a week? A month. A month. A month. Surely he means that. Yes. And it's There's filming. no way. There's and then no way. Cody. Cody. Uh, yep. I still think he seems very gambler to me. Like he says he's going to work. And he drives around oh, all day yeah. and he goes to casino. Kathy Griffin's husband. And tries. Yes. And he just tries to be like, he he's just one big win away. And maybe he does hit sometimes, but like, I really think it's, I don't know. I just see that happening. Like, I think Robin does think or did think that he was leaving to go to the other wives' houses, but he wasn't. He just, Robin, he, he's going, he goes, he goes. And no, I can, I can see it. He's so stupid with his money. He drives yeah, around in a sports car. Yeah. Oh, man, she didn't really afford women generally. And those are certain... Sorry, I'm at seven minutes and 58 seconds. Not things that Robin ever got. Parenting is never easy in plural marriage. Cody's gone three-fourths of the time. And that's why I had child care help. Because I can't ask Cody for that kind of help. He's got... Or you, as well, a stay-at-home mom, could just... Be the parent. You don't need help. Which millions You're, of women do. Millions of men do. And or millions of women do it with wives. a job. A job. Yeah. yeah. Or more than one job. Three yes. jobs. Or, I mean, there's You've done a million it. different scenarios. Or your sister wives who live literally right next door. Yep. In the Cody sack. Isn't it, I thought that was supposed to be the perk. Oh, it's the perk? You yeah. know, I see a lot also, of sister wives. Mm. What? As Janopolis points out, McKelty in the background. Oh, like when McKelty yeah, weird. moved in to help raise your kids too. See, I think McKelty is slowly starting to break a little bit with Robin as she as she's watching Good. this. Because like the Good. stuff that I've watched with her and Tony, they're both like, yeah, no, that was, that was not great. They're starting to see that like Cody and Robin lied to them too. 
and how Everything fucked up it is that you up. moved in with somebody to be their nanny before you you're like in the Paige's age. Are, Would you let you Paige go and move in and be a live-in nanny? Are you are you being serious? <laughs> are you being serious right now? Are you being serious? Yeah. All right. I'm at uh, eight minutes and twelve seconds, and we got Robin on the screen, so just be prepared for that. Too much on his plate. If Christine called tomorrow and said, I want to sit down and talk about this, would you be there? I'd have to go, okay, uh, anger down, but I feel like I've been humbled enough by this anger experience down. to say, uh, he did. Okay, I'll anger, give him credit right there in the next sentence. He said, "I down. feel like he said I feel like I've been humbled enough." So that's something. I don't feel like he's been humble. I don't feel like he's been humbled enough, babe. Well, obviously not. But at least he's saying that. I mean, he's so awful that you have to give him like an inch, I guess. An inch. Like he needs an inch. Yeah. He needs it. Get it? Yeah, Christine. Penis. I just, I did Penis. some things wrong. I want to acknowledge it. Say I'm sorry. And you know, essentially set you free. Now, you know, looking into your other marriages, you will know what not to do. 100%. This, this is the biggest lesson I've gotten yeah. from the experience of the divorce is that anger is a sword that stabs indiscriminately. My anger was affecting everybody else. Okay. Shut the fuck up, Cody. But he says that and then Nathan goes. He goes. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Yep. Yep. That's you got it. it. The anger. You hit the yep. nail on the head, bro. So stupid women dear friend. Are anger. Yep. That's it. They get so angry. They get angry about things. Oh, they're probably on their period. <sighs> Yeah. Like the kids were like, Mom, what have I done to Dad? And my wife's were going, What have I done to you? And I'm like, And I'm there. Boys, what an experience. Boys. Boy, I don't even know what he was saying. Boys. Oh, boys. What was boys. he even saying there, though? I don't think he even knew what he was saying. Sometimes oh, I start a sentence God. and I don't really know where I'm going with it until I'm done. Yep. All right. 100%. Um, yeah. It's affected. Eight, nine minutes and 15 seconds. A relationship with Janelle very much. I think Janelle's on the defensive now, and I can't figure out why. And I, if I reflect for a little oh. bit, it's like, oh, I've been really angry. I'm challenged with my relationship with Janelle right now, but I, I think, you know, once we get some things worked out, we'll be fine. And the boys were asking if you thought that you thought you would come over, and I said no. I wasn't optimistic. No, I'm not coming oh, over. What's it's happening? Like... She's still, she's still, okay, so this is like the scene. <laughs> she still hasn't moved her tree. It's, it's, it's hanging out by that lamp, and it's staying there. <laughs> I thought, I can't even tell you how many times I've thought about that tree and the lamp in the past week. Just in my I mind, I have, I have as well. Like, think about it. I'm like, oh, God, no, like, I wasn't even by the window. Oh. By the way, if anyone saw me like do like a weird reaction when I drank my coffee, it uh, I I did a I, I it wasn't balanced and it splashed up into my eyes. I'm oh, lukewarm okay? coffee. I'm oh, okay. the god didn't have any lemon in there. Oh no! Also, I have Tourette's for anyone who's new watching. And if you see me twitching, it's because I have Tourette's. All right, we're at uh, nine minutes and thirty three seconds. And the boys were asking if you thought that you thought you would come over, and I said I was an optimist. Wait, I'm going ahead. You know, I saw you, right? You need to stop throwing me under the bus, okay? Okay, you know what? Then... Okay, I, I don't want you to even see that. So I'm at 10 minutes and 14 seconds, okay. and we're starting the next segment. All right, that's good. Before Thanksgiving, we had a conversation in Robin's backyard where it became apparent to me, at least, that it was I was going to need to do a separate holiday with my kids. He's been out of town for a week or so, so he's going to come over, and I just really need to make sure he understands that I'm doing something separate for Christmas. I kind of need to finalize those plans good. with him. Hey, it's winter out there. Janelle and I have really been struggling. He goes, hey, it's winter out there. Always so cold, Cody. Yeah, well, remember, he couldn't go see the kids because it was still chilly outside. It was snowing it was when we started the Zoom call. Cold spring. Ooh. Janelle's sitting on the, like, her laptop is on like it's the weirdest position to sit with your laptop. Sorry, it's on, on like 
couch. So, like, if I'm sitting on a couch, the laptop's here, like, on yeah. top of the couch. And she's doing it this way. And she looks spent. Even with and him she, walking in, you can tell yeah. she's like, here we fucking go. And Jody, like, they she have She can't released... even enjoy that tree. She can't even enjoy the tree. It's behind her. She's like, 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 at it. It Although has, I wouldn't it, want to look at it either. It's got, like, an entire doll on top of it. Like, it's a, like a busted angel. It's busted, it's a total, yeah. Uh, yeah. We had that one. in the 80s. Yeah. Um, She's half cracked from uh, Hobby Lobby. Like her plastic now, cone underneath is totally busted. It just doesn't fit the tree whatsoever. No. Like dimensions wise. Um, no, now, I think I said this maybe on our anthropologist episode, but um, no, no, I didn't. But um, they put out all of these um, all of these previews, sneak peeks throughout the week. And a lot, two of them were of this, like this fight. And I, everyone's going like, why are they putting this out? Like we've seen everything now, but yeah. no, that's not, it's so, there's so much in this fight that you don't even know is coming. Okay. And we're okay. going to sit in it for a while. Same okay, time, I'm, I'm sort of focus. being in this place where I kind of feel like I'm begging for something deeper. Oh, yeah, you are. <laughs> Drinking my water a lot these days because there's no decent way to stay warm. Okay, what? first of all, this screenshot of Janelle at 1056, she looks like she's just dead inside. She's yep. like, oh my god. He goes, burr, drinking hot water these days because there's no other way to stay warm. You are or such like a, a, a pussy. sweater, a sweatshirt. He's right. Like, but I, you know what I don't like is how much space he is immediately taking up in the house. Yeah, it's like you don't go here. Home. Yeah, please. That's like someone coming to your house and be like, "Ooh, do you have any hot chocolate?" But she did. She has a kettle of hot water available for him because he goes back to it a couple times. So he definitely texted her and was like, "Hey, can you have a pot of kettle?" of hot water waiting for yeah, me. Yeah, he makes himself way too much at home here. I don't like I it. I don't like it. Because I really don't even think he spent the night in this house more than, like, once oh. at this point. Oh, I don't think he's ever spent well, the night. Because the shelf time. next no to his way. bed wasn't high enough for his, uh, the it's light wasn't high table. enough for his reading. Yeah, right. Nope. All right, I'm at uh, 10 minutes and 56 seconds. What you doing? Work. Work. A little what? bit. Work. A little bit. Have you ever heard that word, work? Yeah, because I work. have a job. I bring income yep. into the, the house. Me. Yeah, feeding my kids is what I'm doing. But what do you think she's doing? Do you think she's just, like, posting, like, another, like, picture of her, like, kissing her, uh, kissing her bottle of blood uh, drink? She's probably uh, casually checking her downline. Okay, yeah. But in the back of her mind. Just, she's like, like, li like, clicking, like, a, a, a heart mm -hmm. on different yep, comments. Yep, yep. You know, it's like, I see the writing on the wall. This whole thing happened with Christine. And uh, I don't want to be in that place with Janelle. It feels like Janelle's been completely insensitive to that. Oh, my God. What's Boo? It's a very cold. tiny Christmas tree. <gasps> yeah. Uh, fuck you. I mean, like, yeah, because we have a tiny house. Oh, wait, I don't even have a house. Oh, wait, I live in a college dorm. Yeah. Fuck you. I'd be like, oh, well, we could have gotten a bigger one if you bought me a bigger house. Or, yeah. uh, I don't know, maybe if you cared that much, you would have come over and we would have done it together. It's just so sad. And the thing is, I don't think Janelle cares that she's living in a small house. I don't think Janelle wants to live in a big house. I mean, she wanted to live in a teepee. But still, like, the logistics of it. How about just be like, oh, I, your tree is really cute. That, look, that looks nice. Yeah, like, oh, that's good. Yeah. And Janelle, Janelle's like, perfect size for this. She goes, space. oh, the, the the lights are the lights came already pre wrapped, Cody. I mean, life is too amazing. Short, you know? Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna actually take it with me to the B and B. So I'm treading really lightly here because I can't get a timestamp, Amanda. We're at 11 minutes and 37 seconds. Sorry, I'll be better with that. Read on Cody. We've never had a discussion about the separate holiday. The last discussion we really had about it was. On Robin's porch. What are you doing for Christmas? I'm here. Are you? Yeah. What about your kids? Who if your kids are coming? Are you going for Christmas? Here, I'm here. But okay. my kids, they're renting an Airbnb. I don't think they're 
welcome. I well, never said my kids weren't welcome. If they apologize and they're kind of No, like, no, no. I completely reversed that. I said, all we've got to do is be able to have a conversation so we're not sitting here in our house like a bunch of alcoholics that had a fight last night and forgot it happened. So they're getting kind of a rental home here in Flagstaff? Yeah, because everybody's coming this year. Everybody is? Yeah, not Maddie and Caleb, but everybody else is. Everybody. Oh, well, then I'm not going. Caleb's not going to be there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wait, no, Caleb. Oh, oh no, Caleb. Caleb. <laughs> Um, also, I think that I have a theory that they're not that Airbnb did not um, give them the rights to say Airbnb because, like, throughout this whole oh. conversation, they won't say Airbnb. She refers to it as a B and B, and he refers to it as a short term rental. Because Airbnb even is like, I don't want to be associated. We're with stepping out of this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, he is coming. Yep. So and I'm just finding this out. Cody, you're the one who said they can't come until I apologize. You I said, did, last no, no. time we talked, you said they can't come till they apologize. So you need, and I need to communicate some more, because I... That's what yeah, you, you said. Do. You've said that to me multiple times. They need to apologize. But there's been no movement on either side. Cody hasn't called them. They haven't called him. So I can see that this is not going to resolve itself. So you're taking that to the B&B? Yeah, I bought a small one for the apartment. How big is the B&B? It's like a, just a house. So... He's really he wants doing to know some... if it's big enough. For his standards, that's what he wants to know. Yeah, it, it, well, how big is it? Is it, if it? is it like he's really about to nice? talk a lot more shit? Go? I just love his prop work here. It's like, um, like in theater, if like an actor like sucks, you give them a prop, and then it kind of like oh. focuses their energy on that one thing, and they're not like making all oh. these weird motions. So Cody's doing some mad prop work here with this cup. He's like, I got it's heavy hot water, <laughs> heavy man water. Mm. Yeah. But he really he he's he's trying to be intimidating. Am I wrong? I feel like he's trying oh, just sure. to take up space and be intimidating. He's standing like over her. She doesn't give a fuck. Jill's like I'm not nope. standing for this motherfucker. Nope. nope. Hunter gets here Monday, and then he's just gonna stay at the apartment. Here, mm -hmm. he's gonna stay sleep on an iron mattress or something. This whole house thing that they're doing. I don't know, as much as it's probably my fault, it's like a knife right through my heart. This Christmas tree, it's like the complete degradation of our family unit. See, he's what? really triggered by this Christmas tree. Why do you give what a shit? Fuck, dude? <laughs> Why do you care? It's the it's degradation the of our family. It. He walks and he sees a tree and he's offended by a little it's, it's his, tree. It's his ego because me, a man, can't have one of my wives living in squalor like this. Yeah. That's yep. all this is about. And like when she's yeah, like, Hunter. He's... Oh, God. Oh, she says, Hunter is staying here. And he goes, he's he's going to stay here. It's like, yeah, it's not. She doesn't live in a slum. It's a small apartment, but Hunter yeah. is fine. And, and she thinks it's a temporary thing. This yeah, she's like, then she we're going to move to the b &B. Right. Right, I'm not gonna waste a ton of money on oh a, a rental, like Robbins, when I'm bye bye right. very soon. Uh, I'm at 13 minutes and 22 seconds, and Cody's still rocking that silver yep. cup silver. of hot water. And just in the background, Janelle just has two plastic things of onions and, and potatoes. potatoes. <laughs> That's all Janelle. I need. It's it's just me, plastic Janelle. It's just me and Savannah. Let's cook up some onions. Let's just cook something up. You know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to hide this. I don't, I don't, I'm just overwhelmed by it. And I feel the adrenaline rushing into me. It's just absolutely heartbreaking to me. Heartbreaking, wow. So Hunter's coming Monday and he's just staying here. When are you getting the, the. It starts on the 20th. Are you getting the B&B? Um, the short term rental? Yeah, Christine and I sharing it. Because Christine's coming after Christmas. Uh. Mm -hmm. Because she said, Isabel, and truly want to see you. Yeah. But, and the boys were asking if you thought that you thought you would come over, and I said, no, I wasn't optimistic. No, I'm not coming over. It's like, I have a house, I have a place where we would have Christmas. But you, like, such a baby. We're doing Ooh. this because you won't let the kids in the house, so we have a rental that you are invited yeah. to. No, I'm yeah. not coming. I have a house. I already have a house. No, I mean, I just like, I just wanted you to come to my house. And, um, Such a fuck. Oh, also, as, as we watch this, his, he has his sunglasses on his head and he has a lot of trouble with them. At, like, they keep falling off and it keeps like, 
It's very. Does funny. it get like caught in his hair? Like you know the no, ones with like, the nose pieces. And he they get, get, like, he'll get. He's gonna. He's about to get like really worked up and throw his head back, and the glasses are gonna fall out, and he's gonna have to catch <gasps> them in the air. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I love that for it. 14 that. minutes and uh, six seconds. Put stipulations on it. You know, you put stipulations on it. Cody. All I want to do is talk to them. We're you not gonna, told me. No, no. You can ride that all you okay, want. Okay, you know what? You but keep I, flipping it I on me. I corrected that completely. No, you did. Well, too late. I'd already How told them. How is that them. too late? I already told them that unless they apologized, that they weren't going to be able to come you to didn't Christmas. Correct it? So what kind of conversation could happen without my boys what? issuing an apology to make it safe for them to get together to have a conversation? They're going to, the mechanics are the same. See, you always, not you always know. You're very well for you me. You put Stop this back, you put it, well, then don't make her represent. Because you always put it back on me. I, that phone goes you, both ways. You and put I've it been... back. Yeah, the phone goes both ways, but you're the fucking you're parent. The parent. You're the parent. Yes. You and I have said this for years and years about stuff. Even if your kids are 75 years old and yeah. you're 100, you are still the parent. You reach out. Well, both of us have complicated relationships with our dad. And, like, I know it's not my yeah. responsibility to facilitate this. Like, yes, they can call you, but it does go both ways. So And they're you, mad at you. So you, deal parent, with it. make it right. Yeah, no, it's fucked. Phone. That's God. such a fuck. Well, my dad would say the same thing too. For, he has an excuse for everything. Oh, but I mean, Janelle conquers him. And the fact, I think it's almost like it makes her more powerful that she never leaves this. She doesn't even move from her position on the couch. She doesn't even like adjust. It. She doesn't even recross her legs. She's just like, this is me. And I'm about to fucking own you. This is me. Yep. Oh, I'm at 14 minutes and 50 seconds. Five zero seconds. On me. Talk to them. You know, it still surprises me that Cody feels like it's my responsibility to facilitate this relationship between he and my children. He's a parent as much as I am. You are always, all this stuff, you're always flipping it back on me. It's because you it belongs one, on you, No, Janelle. it does not. Why does it belong on what? me? What? Why does it belong on me? Because you didn't support my stand when it came to actually doing the COVID stuff. Honey, I was what? protecting my children, and you have said, choose your loyalties or you're not going to have a husband. So I'm supposed to choose between you and our children? That's you know what, what you basically said. All you have to do is support what I'm doing. Do you understand that parents are supposed to make a united front? I'm not do you understand that parents are supposed yeah. to make a united front? Yeah, meaning, oh, you're also here to represent. Right. A united front. But you like, weren't here. You went bye-bye to Robin. See, this house, is the so. thing. Like, who's more important to the show? Cody or Robin? Because he, this, he's really, like, he's really we letting his ass hang out. Cody like this without Robin. Okay, I am here. Sure. I'm turning on lights because it's getting very dark. I'm stopping my Yeah, no, it's been very dark and gloomy all day, which I love. My very pasty white thighs, but okay. I am here. I, I oh, we got Mary with the, uh, with the banana. The banana. <laughs> oh yeah, the banana for a banana. Your your lighting looked fine, actually, though. Um, yeah, uh, Melanie says you don't co-parent adult children. Yeah, there there's no one left to co-parent. Yeah. Okay, Savannah is an adult too now. Okay, let's see. I think that's a little bit better. Okay. Yeah, it's good. It, sorry, it looks fine before though. About the Wait, I'm on, you looked I'm great on. before. Okay. Great, great. Um, I'm at 15 minutes right. and 31 seconds. All being accused of everything he just accused Christina of, and a lot of what he accused Mary of. Do you know? You keep you acting like knew this is my the fault. Rules. You did not and give us any rules. A child. Every day we talked about what they were. No, you didn't give us the list until November. The list was nothing. We were already talking about it. Every the list was nothing. Then what the fuck? Now he's just negating the list. So what, what? What? This is what's frustrating is that she's telling him like this is, this was my experience. This is what I heard. This is what I saw. This is what happened. And him just saying nope, nope. That that's not what happened. No, it wasn't even anything. Yeah, she's no. like, nope. I, I lived it. I'm telling you. That's yeah. why we did the things we did. And God. he's also talking down to her. Yeah, you knew the rules. She's not a child. And now um, and she did follow the rules. Amanda just right up here in the comments said, wait until the fourth wall break. You're going to shit your fucking pants. 
That's so good. All right, here we go. We're at 15 minutes and 51 seconds. Nobody was denying it anyway. Listen, I'm tired so of being gaslit by you. You are gaslighting this. me. This, like, all this, I feel so pressured, bull****. This is you saying, I don't want to do it, but I'm going to make it your fault. Yep. So listen, you really need to stop throwing me under the bus, okay? What? Okay, you know what? Then you stop throwing me. You act like this is my fault. You have somehow set me up as, like, the no. Teflon queen. Isn't that what Ooh. you said? Uh, yes. But the- Clearly, Janelle has recently she watched that it. episode. Yeah, she just saw that episode because she's she's about to pull out a whole bunch of references that she would only know if she'd watched the episode that's, recently. That's divorce words right there. The Teflon that's, queen. That's like, how you're talking you. to me to our children? Yeah, yep. exactly. Fuck you. You won't take responsibility. I did nothing. I sat at home. I did what I was supposed to do, but it wasn't ever good enough for you. This is all I need. You wanted me to kick the boys out. This is all I need is to not sit here and pretend that at Christmas time nothing's wrong. You act like this is not your fault. I don't know, do you? Because when you say choose your loyalties, choose between me and your children. Now you Mm. are literally gaslighting. I I would, what? Stop saying gaslighting. You don't, yeah, you don't know what gaslighting means, and you don't know what literally means either, you idiot. Well, and I said this to Justine and Blair. I was like, I don't think men should be allowed to use the word gaslighting. I feel like it's like, it's our word. That is our word. And they hate it. And Cody hates that word because it's anti men. Oh my God, I hate him so much. Thank God, Janelle. Like, I wish all of us were in the room with Janelle right now to be like, we got it. And just rip right into him. Like, oh, Ooh, the things I would say to this man. the car door really loud. Also, I, I, I'm, I'm going to take back what I said about men can use gaslighting if they're being gaslit. But still, it's like, can, can women not have one word that we can just... Yeah, that, just that we can this one thing to define what men do to us. Okay, yeah. I'm at uh, 16 minutes and 45 Fine. seconds. Let's have a fucking kid. Let's... <laughs> Not. Only asking everybody I, to obey the rules of our home. I agreed to the CDC Whoa. rules. You had more, and it was never good enough, Cody. You know I wasn't going to turn my boys out in the middle of a pandemic. They chose to have their social lives. You, you keep circumventing the culpability. That's the word. I was shocked he used that word correctly. Circumventing? Circumventing. I was I was honestly floored when he used that correctly. I was like, wow, that's a word that like I, I couldn't pull out of my head. Yeah. Oh Jess, thank you so much. Oh thank you. Yeah you you guys can leave us tips Cody if you thinks want. he's the originator of gaslighting a thousand percent. Maybe he can mansplain that term. Janelle kills it when she says, I planned on using that word coming into this conversation. She yeah, she's about she's Cody. about to she's about oh. to say that. Uh 17 minutes and six seconds. And Cody's Bro. Cody's uh sunglasses are hanging on by a fucking tendril, right? Yeah, they are. And also him saying <laughs> our home. He never said that, like, oh, Christine and Janelle, like our home. Nope. It's her tree. Our tree. It's a really small oh, tree God, out there, him. Janelle. I hate him. Here, and you keep wanting to put it on me, and you are wrong. No, listen. Dead wrong. This goes what beyond you to? saying, well, we're an alcoholic family and we're shoving everything. Cody, it goes beyond that. COVID, you got COVID, and now all of a sudden there's this new rule that the family can't get together. What new rule? That the boys have to mea culpa and say they're sorry. You know, stop I corrected what? that and you know it. So stop using that no, one. Because you're you're it. your hat on that stop one. Because using you that one. yelled at me for many, many times you yelled at me. Two times we had a conversation. I'm not allowed to be angry <coughs> over this entire experience. And I'm not allowed the to. The lack of loyalty, the lack of trust, the lies, the, the you. gaslighting. You're gaslighting me. Oh. I am not. Stop just, saying gaslighting. I'm, doing, I'm trying to make you actually be responsible it's in a wild. relationship. What have I done? What have I done? I'm not talking about the rules that I made for Christmas time because that was necessary because nobody was really being honest about what they were doing anyway. But you oh, like your, the like your nanny and perfection. Who brought COVID. You, you now you missed the most important line right there. You and Robin are the paragons of what did she say? Or- uh, well, I'll go ahead and uh, go back 10 seconds. I'm at 17.59. Rules that I made for Christmas time because that was necessary because nobody was really being honest about what they were doing anyway. But you okay. and Robin are the paragons of honesty and perfection. <gasps> I mean, he's and pissed. He's fucking it. pissed right Yeah. Now we said it. 
I said the word Robin. We do Sorry. perfectly. You don't do anything like the way that we do it, so it's wrong. He's so he Robin hasn't. Is perfect. She just stunned him because now he's like, he he doesn't know like, whether to be mad Robin, about. <laughs> what is Robin responsible for? She's yeah. done everything right. She's never done anything wrong. Nothing. What does she do all day? Does she just honestly? I think she just shops online. I think that's all she does because she doesn't yeah. parent. She doesn't she have doesn't a write job. The names on things that they send up for my sister wife's closet. Show us again, Aurora's handiwork. Thank you, Aurora. Amanada. There's so many ways to pronounce it, too. There's Amanada, like Canada. There's Amanada. Oh, okay. There's Amanada. There are so many Amanda. ways to say it. Like, Aurora has given us a gift. I mean, that's one, one thing she's good for. Is that? And it was an oopsie. That. And it was an oopsie doopsie. <laughs> We're at 1809. You know what, I just thought it was hypocritical to make one family do everything that I wanted and not have everybody else do it. I asked for the rules clear back in March. You know, asked for listen, asked, asked for them, and you're like, you, everybody do what they want. I said, here's the rules all the time. Gabriel knew the rules all the time. That's why I'm saying he's gaslighting, because we talked about it every single day we were having a conversation. Cody, I think this is oh, deeper than birthday. that. This is way deeper than that. The kids are very frustrated for a lot of reasons. You're acting like it's just their, that they disrespected you for COVID. Ooh. That this whole you need to apologize. They were lying. You need to apologize. You know, to I, Robin. I corrected that pretty strongly. You need to apologize to the family. For blaming to Robin, Robin for, for what was going on. They literally blamed Robin. They sit there and admitted they blamed her. Because it's Robin's fucking fault. I was going to say, we saw you guys in the driveway when. Cody when said, she was when she was Mary... wearing heels and pretending to uh yeah pretending to like uh, or something no it was the uh the little machine that like gets the weeds out of the between the cracks in your oh curb. was she power washing no the little the little oh, the little okay. machine that like takes out the weeds like brrr. um yeah but well Cody had said to her can Mary be around the kids because she's been following all the rules and she's like oh no now it's not the time cody no 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 it's no, not no, time no. to change the rules although if they had no. just done that it would have proven the rules work because mary yeah. did this but robin the dumb dumb duh. yeah God, lena so newman thank you a weed whacker weed whacker oh, cody's okay. throwing out words like circumvent and i can't even think of the word weed whacker <laughs> All right. I'm at 18 minutes and 57 seconds. When you were gone for four or five months, Cody, they started you know, to get angry. I wasn't gone for four or five months, and you know that as well, and that's an exaggeration and a lie. Bullshit. Okay, I'm going to go ahead. Call you Will. Because it's commercial I'm so break. upset. I'd be like, your face is a fucking oh, lie. Like, I wouldn't be able to. Without ever having <laughs> be here things that made the effort. I wasn't Wait, shit, where ever are having that. Come. I've lied. Tell me how I... I do Jesus Christ. Okay, here we are. I'm at 19 minutes and 12 seconds. This is where it gets... It be, It becomes even more unhinged right now. 19 minutes, 12 seconds. Let's go. Do you understand that you lie? That's the reason I call you the Teflon Ooh. Queen. Because you're lying about what has it's happened wild. and what's been going it's on. It's wild to me that you think I lie because I think you're manipulating. <gasps> well, tell me how I'm manipulating. Oh, no, no, no. Tell the whole world. Tell the world. Whoa. Get and then go hang out with your out buddy, Christine. Face, you stupid piece tell the shit. world how I've lied, how I've manipulated. Look, look he can't recover from these sunglasses wrong. right now. <laughs> He was making a big point, breaking the fourth wall for the first time ever. You. And his sunglasses fucking fall off. Gold. Pure gold. Chef's kiss, if you will. I, I, he, like, I, I, did you I feel like he was I yelling really right at you when he pointed at the camera? Yes, I felt like, like I he never could see wanted, me. I've never <laughs> wanted to be in a room with Cody Brown before. <laughs> I, I, like... The feeling I have that I want to smack his pointing arm away, like he's like, like I just want to like smack yeah. it away and be like, "Listen, you stupid, hairless 
curly piece of shit. <laughs> I would take the two little tendrils. I'd put it in one of those like little fly dancer yeah. toys and wind it up so it gets stuck in his fucking head. And then I would just like, ugh. I don't know, just like, I feel like I want to like rip his shirt because I feel like he probably like really takes pride in what he wears on air. Yeah. Like no, like I, when uh, when Walter and gets then, around men, I always say, don't just don't touch his collar. But if Cody entered my house, I'd be like, you should definitely reach for his collar right now. He loves uh, it. <laughs> just so that Walter could just fucking the bite the shit out of him. The and aggressive towards her. You No, to the whole world! He broke the fourth wall, Jody, and they kept it in. That's like crazy. Has he ever been even like 1% as outraged or um, committed to marry Christine or Janelle and defending them, how he is with Robin. She no, that's all he's mad Robin at. He went off. Because Robin can never be wrong. She's just a victim. Mm. Uh, I'm at 19 minutes and 47 seconds. She wants to sit right here, right here, and <laughs> talk me without Ooh. ever having that conversation with me to my face. What? Yeah, I mean, this is one thing about being public and our lives being recorded is we hear things that we don't say to each other's faces. Uh, <laughs> I made all the efforts to love them. I made the efforts to join them together. I made the efforts to make everything work. No. I made the effort. I was Atlas carrying this family on my shoulders. And the minute that I shrugged it off, I think it just... <gasps> I was Atlas carrying this family, and the minute I shrugged it off, he's learned what Atlas shrugged is. That it is a book. Well, and isn't Atlas like one of the Greek gods who was like so strong, yes. like carrying? Yes. The okay. So he but he, but he's he doesn't outraged. know that much. About it. He knows there's a book called Atlas Shrugged, and so he used both of those words in this sentence. Like such a fucking piece of shit, jackass. Oh, I'm Atlas carrying this whole family on my shoulders. No, that's Janelle, Cody, if you're paying attention. She's the yeah. one with the job. Yeah, you're lucky you you've been able to sit this long because she has been up and at them having a job so you could sit right. on your ass all day. Also, I, I mean, the audacity of this man to compare himself to, to Atlas. A god, to a god. <laughs> Yeah. is and also i feel like him saying like she's sitting here right here Ooh. i think that's like a very um he was like insinuating no i thought that too i actually went back and rewatched that to see if he was like trying to call her fat in some way because yeah. he was like making like a motion with his hands but upon yeah. further investigation i don't think that's what he was implying or maybe he was. I don't know. He sucks. Okay. Um, Sorry. That was Scout losing her mind. Sorry. No, no. I have stuff out on the curb for people who want to, like, take old metal Oh, and shit, curb so. alert. Uh, yeah. That's right. I think that's what's going on. Walter, go to your spot. He's being so fucking weird. I'm at 20... 20, 2020. I'm Barbara oh, Walters. This is 2020. With you, don't. You don't be a plural husband anymore. Cody, I think okay. you're trying to do this all to justify. You're, Christine is gone. What am I justifying? You're pushing me out the door. You're not pushing me out the door. No, I'm not. <laughs> Can I show up here? <laughs> Choose between my children and me. Cody, <laughs> He's like, what? No, I'm not. Uh, that was his comeback. No, I'm not. You well, and then earlier his comeback was tell me how I'm doing that Janelle so ex ex expand on that alright um, I'm at 20 minutes and 36 seconds a week you've gone a week and you don't call you don't come I don't ever know when you're gonna come it's like you're just that would be the most irritating thing to me is to not know when he's showing up because oh, yeah, I need to know whether to put a bra on or, or not you don't just show up no, like is I need to know a week in advance. Like, ugh. yeah, because she's dreading right. it. What a dick! A week. Ugh. Doing this really weird. Are you really doing a relationship with me? I need you to stop blaming me for everything and start being culpable for what you have done. The okay, that is that is gaslighting. That is. Oh yeah, no, no he's fully that gaslighting. One clip, that one clip right there. Boop. There's your example of of gaslighting, Cody. Yeah. That's. That's literally what gaslighting means. Watch God, I want, I want to know, like, the Reddit threads that he's a part of that talk about the manosphere, oh. about women hating, yep. like, what yep. he's seeing on there. And I, I can guarantee you that there is a thousand different threads about the word gaslighting. 
So I'm going to take it back. What name is Atlas huh? Shrugged? What do you think? <laughs> Shrugged, but still Atlas wrong. shrugged in A Z. <laughs> but like shrugged has like only one G. Mm. He spelled it wrong somehow. Atlas oh, shrugged. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Atlas shrugged in A G A Z. Yeah. Dab Sark. Dab, Dab Sark. That could be another one. Oh my God, uh-huh. Dab Sark. I'm at 20 minutes and 52 seconds. I, you know, Aurora voted for Dab Sark. It was like her idea, and they went with it like. <laughs> Oh god, you know what's scary is that like Aurora can vote. I'm not that worried about Brianna and, and uh Dayton, but like I'm a little, I'm a little worried about Aurora's vote. Where's Aurora, where Aurora's vote is going? Well, it's <laughs> it's gonna be one of them driving her there because you know she probably didn't. No, Robin would go in with her to the booth. Oh, they're going to the same booth. Like we'll we'll yeah. just share. Yeah. Oh she doesn't know what to do. I just want to make sure that you do it right. Mm-hmm. Um, 20 minutes and 52 seconds. I'm to obey the rules. The boys didn't like the COVID protocols. They're young. They didn't think they were going to be affected by it. Sure, dad, whatever. And they continued to socialize and continued to be around their friends. They continued to date. They brought COVID home from that. The whole time saying, dad, we're being careful. We're doing everything you're telling us to. But they weren't. And But your nanny brought COVID home to yeah. you and your stupid family. Actually brought it home. Yes. Right. And then Ariola it, it demanded that they have a full birthday party for her with vanilla milkshakes. And then she pulled Christine's shirt down and told her that she was. Why are you all red? <laughs> God. 21 minutes and 11 seconds. They're blaming me for the choices that they had. They were not culpable. That is not gaslighting. Hey, that is that is you made accountability. This about all these other problems that we have that we can't sleep under. I this did became not. I did not. I did not. I did not. I did not. Wow. <laughs> I did not. I did not. I did not. God, I'd be like, we're divorced. Jesus. Right now. I don't even want to like. like I can't. This so is like I'm me. so grossed out by you right now. Yeah. Like, uh, I'm dry now, as then, I'm dry now, as the Sahara. Over. Yeah, exactly. I'm this talking like I'm just an idiot like, here. Well, then stop this, talking like, to me like I am. You know, I've seen mm-hmm. what you've done this entire time. Number one, you undermined the basic rules I had. You made fun of me to the boys. <laughs> See, have you ever had my back? Have you ever been a team with me? Have we ever co-parented? Your co-parent was Christine. Why? Because Cody, you were never available. Never been That available. is such a lie. That is such an excuse. Favoritism. That's okay. every excuse every polygamous woman that finds a problem with it makes. And it's bull****. What? Oh, but that's weird that every polygamous woman has a problem with a, a man dividing his time between a whole bunch of women that he's cheating on her with. Classic. That's weird. That's God, just that's classic. Women. Oh, and also, um, you were the one calling her names to your kids, and we saw it on camera. Yeah, and, and yeah, she was making fun of you because you're. You do how it. do you not make fun of this person? I mean, come on. You're like, like the most laughable. Sorry, person. your kids thought I was funny because it's true. Yeah, and the fact that you said that you were like lying in a fetal position. That's another thing Gwen said is that she said that she didn't like that Christine brought that up, which I agree with her on. And she said I didn't say that. Like I wasn't making fun of him. I, she she said what she said, but it was like, it was not as as bad as Christine made it seem. What um, was that? I don't know. I'm gonna go check. I'll be right back. All right, I'm just gonna keep playing. I guess. Do you want me to keep playing or do you want me to talk? All right. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Well, I'm just gonna keep going. I'm at 22 minutes and five seconds. To me, because Robin's so perfect. What did I say that she was perfect? You're jealous. You're bringing her into something that isn't hers to be owned. You made this about way bigger than COVID. You no, made the this boys about, made no. this about Robin. That's the only reason she got brought in. I don't think you've ever admitted it, your culpability and the problems in this, this family. This is wild to me that you are blaming me for this. You are. Oh, you're back. What was it? Um, my door alarm started going off when the kids came in. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> but hey, Good. guys. Well, it wasn't like a carbon alarm. monoxide alarm. Um, I'm at 22 minutes and 30 seconds, and Janelle has... Did you hear it? Janelle was, said, oh, yeah, oh yeah, Robin's yeah, so yeah. perfect. Okay. Okay. You're jealous. Oh, the boys brought Robin into this. No. 
Robin has been the problem since before the pilot episode. Yep. Yeah. We've all known that. We've seen it. As you said, Cody, Cody, Cody every weekend. Um, I wish that I... I I've never had anybody love me enough to defend me as much as Cody will go out in a limb for Robin. It's like, insane. I mean, the amount that he's sticking his heels in here for Robin, that's unreal. I'm at 22 She's an minutes and manipulator. She, yeah, 22 minutes and 30 seconds. Here we go. I'm not blaming you for you everything. You are the one. All I needed was, was yes, a. You are, Cody. You're you back. are the one who said the boys cannot come. Until they apologize. And I corrected that. And, you and then you said to me, stop, stop no, that. You who listened to me. That? You listened to me. His, his sunglasses were about to fall off again. He can't, he can't wow. get a handle on these sunglasses. Um, I don't like the way he talks to her. Stop, stop. You no. need to listen to me. His voice I, also cracked. I agree with Aries here. Janelle doesn't argue well. Yeah, I would rip his ass apart too. I, I, I would go with No, I him. actually would argue that she does argue well because he, I think acknowledges in his head that she's smarter than him and so she and i mean when she says he, the word robin uh no i think i think this is this really bothers him i mean he definitely punched a hole in the wall immediately after this conversation at robin's house all right i'm at 22 oh, minutes so. and 46 seconds I apologized for that no you did not yes i did no, you did not. Yes, four weeks ago, I apologized. Yes, I did. No, you I said, said we need to get together. Oh, and like, hit a high note there, talking. too. Oh, yeah, no, he went up into a falsetto right there. <gasps> the God, he's so, ew. ew. As, as he's trying to still recover from his sunglasses. Just take the sunglasses I'm, I'm not, off, dude. I'm not even kidding. I could be in, like, the deepest of love. And if I would hear that come out of someone's I mouth know, in right? that way, I would immediately just, like... <sighs> Because remember, there, there was that politician that, like, did, like, a woo, and then, he, like, lost. Oh, um, um, Dean. Yes. Um, something Dean or Dean. Uh, why am I blanking? I think the last name was Dean. But, like, it ruined the guys. whole campaign for him. Yeah. Uh, you guys know. It was a. Yeah. Uh, it's just unfortunate. It was just super oh, unfortunate. <laughs> that one little. Uh, just. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Jimmy Dean? No, it's not Jimmy no. Dean, but I love a Jimmy Dean uh, breakfast sandwich, yeah. I'll tell you that. Um, I'm at 22 minutes and 58 seconds. Yeah. No. It's not about them apologizing. No, you said, oh, well, that's after. Howard Dean, Caitlin says. Thank you. Thank you. That would have bothered me. <laughs> I know. I already made my plans. And you're like, oh, well, I guess that was a conversation I had with you a couple times. So I can see where you thought that. I feel like I feel like I'm being gaslit. I'm being told that you say something. You're using that because I used the term. Oh, I, just, I came into this. Me, Justine, and Blair burst out laughing when he said that. You're just using that term because I said it. <laughs> no, Cody. He she knows what gaslight means. She's using it correctly. No, you're He's just so saying that because I said it first. <laughs> Such a fucking idiot. He's right. so bad at this. Ugh. Because he doesn't, he has no leg to stand on. I mean, we're always disgusted by him, but him in this argument is like a whole other just. Because it's just so pathetic. He's so pathetic. It's like gross. He's just he's doing such a bad dog. Greater arguing. And at twenty three minutes and twenty one seconds, expecting to use that term because I feel like you are constantly gaslighting me, Janelle. Okay, we there's a problem in the family. A problem that needs to be solved and everything's too hot now and everybody thinks that i'm the bad guy and so um i don't expect to see anybody at christmas time i don't expect to see you um you have cheated me out of my contact with my family wow <laughs> I my fault. you asked them you asked them cody i have not wow. done anything you ask them who they blame. Well, they blame me because you do. I do not. Oh. <laughs> I, not do. I saw you right there. Mock my rules. Well, and I've seen you tell me, call yep. me all kinds of names. What? That you're lazy about the rules? That you <gasps> won't accept accountability? Quitty, in the very beginning, no, I no, kept... No, you make this excuse to me. forever, but I've... Shut your... <laughs> mouth and let me talk to you for a minute no 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 you no, won't no, you keep no, no, cutting no, no. me off no 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 you keep no. cutting me oh. off there is no interest in understanding each other here there is no interest in understanding 
There is only a bitterness that has no place. He's oh, up his chair. Get more water. water. <laughs> I need more hot water. I'm cold. I'm about to leave. Oh, I'd be like, you're not leaving with that cup, babe. Because guess what? It's mine. I paid for I know. it. That's my hot water. Don't use Robin's perfect cups at her house. You're right. Oh, guess what? I grab it out of his hands and I'd be like, <laughs> I cough all my COVID. I just, want, I just want her to throw fucking boiling hot water on his fucking yeah. face. Oh, I would fucking snap that thing, just slap right out of his hands with the hot water. Because again, he's doing this I taking up space thing where he's like, no, I'm in charge. Yep. And Janelle's just holding holding her ground she's like oh. i can't even be bothered to like move my position all right i'm at 24 oh. minutes and 42 seconds i don't expect you to back me up anymore i'm not going to look for it i'm not going to ask for it i don't expect you to try and help us co-parent the kids that's too late this we're is, never going to do this that is what? Not, so what partnership do we have this is not only me cody don't you dare point your finger at me i've Ooh. been here don't you dare throw your cup into my sink like yeah. that, you fucking bastard. Yeah, you better hope that water didn't splash out, <laughs> sir. <laughs> I'm not wasting a paper towel to wipe that up. Also, the he said, you won't co-parent the kids with me. You're not even around to be a parent to co-parent with. Well, and Savannah's like 18. About? There's no co-parenting to be done at this point. Now you're well, just also, a I've dad. Done it all. I have done right. all of the parenting. Yeah, you and Christine. She co-parented with Christine. Um, oh my god! I went back smash because that now, like, by the way, guys. Huh? Oh, smash that smash like! That like. Um, I'm. I went back to 24 minutes and 57 seconds because this is really where it gets like super heated. Um, so here we are, 24:57. Not... So what partnership do we have? This is not only me, Cody. Don't you dare point your finger at me. I've been here day long in and out for all these years without your a weird way to say that right day long okay well also um uh contradicts itself day long in and out so <laughs> not day long, not day long. <laughs> right right you've just been in and out for all these years i'd be right. like yeah in and out and and as you're leaving which was supposed yeah. to be my night now you're leaving right um is anyone else's live stream interrupted with commercials? It shouldn't be. Oh, I don't know. We'll have to I mean, take a look. We'll try we to look into it. We're both 40. We don't know what the fuck we're doing here. We're impressed. We're even, <laughs> this we'll is look even into working. It. We'll look into um, it. I'm at 25 minutes and 10 seconds. While you are deciding what you are doing without consulting me. You know what? Let me tell you what. No, no you stay I'm and done talk. I'm listening to you. You stay and talk. Uh, no. I'm not going to, because you're not listening. You're not listening to me. And I'm not oh going to. Okay, so we're done. Goodbye. F you. Okay, I'm pausing it there. 25, 28. Now, I thought I was pretty hilarious no. last night when uh, he goes, no. uh, no. Yeah, I, I was like, oh my God, he's like fucking Jim Carrey. And then it turns out that fucking Ace and Caitlin also said the same joke Gene told me. Gene's like, oh, Ace said that he was like Jim Carrey at that moment. And I was like, God damn it, I said that too. <laughs> But it was. It was like Jim. It was. Uh, no, I will not be listening to you, and I won't be. Goodbye. Wow. I mean, he is eleven years old. Uh, eleven. No. Years old. Ew. Like gross. I would file for yeah. divorce. Well, she doesn't have to file oh. for divorce, but like, it's disgusting. Yeah, don't worry about me wanting to, like, have any relationship with you. It's over. Yeah, like, Gross. I am officially icked the fuck out. Yeah, um, exactly. He is the ick. So, uh, guys, we'll check into the commercial thing. Sorry about it. Maybe it just is, like, a default thing on YouTube, but we'll look into it. Um, yeah, it's weird. It doesn't usually happen. Yeah, we'll look into it. Uh, yeah, this is bizarre. The fact that he's going to walk out of here, think he won the fight, too. He's thinking he, he's coming out smelling like roses. Because he dropped that cup like this. Yep. Uh, no. I'm not gonna. Uh, no, I will not be listening to you. Goodbye. Um, I'm uh, I'm at 25, 28, and now Janelle's about to tell the... Camera's down, camera's down. Okay. Shut it off. Ooh. I'm cutting cameras. Whoa. 
All right, now the the my favorite nuance of that moment is when he slams the door, her door lock and the I, handle. I, I saw it. <laughs> Silver. Say it. It's Silver and brass. brass. They're, they don't match. They're mixed metals. Mixed metals. Now, in her defense, it is a Perfect. rental property. Right. It's the and it's a college property, so somebody probably, like, they probably had to change the lock. Oh, there was so probably, probably no kept deadbolt the on the door ever. Right. And they, like, just recently put them in. Like, but that's so classic, you know. <laughs> classic. Okay. I love it. All right. I'm going to go ahead um, to... Okay. We got a close-up of Janelle here. But... Okay, I'm at 25 minutes and 42 seconds. Oh. All right, let's go. So Cody just left. Janelle, you need to pull the camera back a little bit. Look how close. Yeah, I can see. yeah, she's got a little beaker going on. I mean, that truly shows you. That's what oh, uh, I mean. That's, that's what, what he does to you. I got into this around. conversation wanting to keep it. Logical, and I figured no. we would take this step by step, but really, truly, I don't think he, he, he's looking for an excuse. We were throwing accusations at each other about what's going on, and it was shocking. Like, it was shocking. I was, I was really upset when he left, because it feels like there's a finality to it, and now I'm worried about what happens to me. Moving forward, do I live here? Do I build? It feels like Cody and I are no longer going to be a couple. It really does. It was that dramatic. There had been so much buildup. And then not so much the words. Yes, the words were very harsh. But just the feeling was like we're done. You keep no. cutting me off. There is no interest in understanding each other here. There is only a bitterness that has no place. It took me about a half hour to kind of overcome the shock of the conversation. And I called him and I said, come get your stuff. So in my mind, he <gasps> is out of bounds. I missed that before. Yes. My faith, my religious belief, my spiritual beliefs don't really allow for you to just walk away because things are hard. I don't really want to see him. I know that he does feel the responsibility. He feels like he can't leave a wife because it's bad on his him if he leaves a wife high and dry like like says i'm no longer married to you yep and so his pattern seems to be that he just sort of ignores that person ignores that person it feels like he wants you to say it's over because he doesn't yep. want the responsibility of being the husband who says i don't want to be married to you anymore i mean that's exactly yep. what it is yeah, we've said that. Yeah, push him, push him, push him so that he could be the victim. Like, oh, they left me. I tried so hard. But then there's no. also the money. Like, Robin's like, Cody, I, I might have to get a job, Cody. Yep. We need that money. No. No. You stay I'm and talk. I'm done listening to you. You stay and talk. Uh, no. I'm not going to because you're not listening. You're not listening to me. And I'm not She's going not to. a child. Okay, so we're done. Goodbye. You. So after, oh, Cody, so after, the the shock, after Cody left, <laughs> I thought, oh my heck, like I have nothing financially. I am tied up in this property, everything as far as my estate goes. Any kind of savings, money, anything is tied up in this property. I am a smart woman and I have done this very dumb thing. I trusted in this family structure, but now Thank I'm Thank really you for stuck. saying it. And I was like, oh my hell, I'm 50 and I have nothing. Wow. That made me tear up when she said that. I'm 50 and I have nothing. That is so fucking sad. Yeah. I mean, like, it's... 50. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. Like, she's got to start over. And I'll look like, I'm not judging anyone who's 50 and they're living paycheck to paycheck, but, like, Janelle should have money. She's the star of one of TLC... TLC, the, Sister Wives was the highest rated show of last week on T on I, I either TLC or on TV. But like, Sister no, she Wives should have like, more to show than yes, being than in this that than that land. Christmas tree and that condo. Yep. Um, yeah. twenty eight twenty seven is the timestamp. Right? Yeah, they're Whoops. living in her retirement. 
We moved to Flagstaff and we bought this property. We had a vision, we would all build on it. And the way that we were able to buy it is we paid a, mostly cash for it, but then we had to take a private mortgage on a portion of it that we just didn't have the cash for. If we do not pay it off, we're in jeopardy of losing the land, just like any other mortgage. And Cody just sticks his head in the sand. Well, look, he's sitting on property with Robin. It's four acres yep. and a house. Like, no, he doesn't care. So sure, Robin and I have a home. We have to house our what? children. I tried- Oh my God, shut the fuck up, Savannah. Savannah's there. Truly, you have to house all of your children. No, just, yeah. just Robin's. So yeah, we have a house. No, you have a million dollar house. Yes. And adult children with that way should. too many bedrooms. Bye bye. Go somewhere. Three else. children should be gone. Yeah. You should have two kids there. That's it. And then you look at so Mary's exactly. house, which is almost bigger than Robin's. It's just, it's sick. This is so sick. And I feel so bad for Janelle that she's finally like and letting herself be see justify, it. Justify everything that he's done nothing wrong. I have to house uh, my children. 2858 is my timestamp help Janelle buy a house. I tried to talk her into buying the house. We had the means to do that. She has ownership in Coyote Pass and she had the same opportunities everybody else did. But she's got just as many assets as the rest of us. I don't know what's shocked. next. And no. now I'm sort of in shock and I'm trying to figure out what the heck I'm going to do. I mean, there's a few people I could talk to about this, like Maddie and Christine. I don't even know what I think yet. This Christmas is just a big indication of how split of our family really, really is. This is the first Christmas in, gosh, 27 years that we're going to be separated. Janelle is not doing Christmas with everybody. She's going to be doing Christmas with her kids in Flagstaff still, but in a rental house. I'm super grateful a couple days after Christmas, we're going to go to Flagstaff. I need to be around them so badly. I miss them like crazy. Yeah. Oh, this is cute. This is like a little uh, palate cleanser right here. So Garrison is FaceTiming Janelle. Uh, I'm at 29 Aww. minutes and 52 seconds. Garrison, hi, love. Thank you for staying. How do I turn this? Oh, Garrison, Janelle's biological son, but really my son, Aww. you know, he Gary. told me that he's going to have dinner at his girlfriend's house. So he's like, can you please help me make rolls? Do you want to follow the instructions and then just ask me questions? Or do you want to have... Yeah, these roles are getting like a second episode already. And I'm getting kind of... Two out of three episodes. Justine turns to me and she goes, my biggest nightmare is somebody FaceTiming me to watch them make a oh, recipe. Oh, right? <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, like, I don't know what I looks fine. I gave the instructions. Yeah. Yeah, like, I don't know. Is it... Uh, i just sit here. Flour? You got it? <laughs> It's like me with my mom. Like, good? we're good. All right, you got it. All Tristan's right. Since turned okay. like completely sideways too. Yep. <laughs> I like to do. It's better. Oh, thank you, Lena Newman. Oh, I'm catching up for on the comments. tip. Thank you, Lena. We got a tip. Thanks. Afternoon laughs. We will be here next week. Thank you, Lena. We're all, we're gonna be here all season. Uh, yeah, Thirty minutes and twelve seconds. Bye bye. <laughs> you tell me what to do. I've been making these rolls forever. It's a crazy honor. I'm so excited. When I used to do them by hand, and Grandma Janelle still does them by hand. It's Grandma Janelle's recipe, so we're just gonna do it like Grandma Janelle. Oh, handsome woman. No, she she kind of gave it a Janelle, not Janelle. Yeah. She's like, I can't even I say. I think Janelle handsome. sounds more handsome. So she's like, oh, yeah. throw her bow. My mom's and uh, Christine's kids have always been very, very close. Christine would stay at home and kind of do all the cooking and stuff. And then uh, my mom would all, was always, almost always working. working. Christine and my mom's working. No. Never stopping. Work. Never <laughs> Stools are where once upon a time you find a chair, but chairs for fools. Everybody loves stools. Um, at at thirty minutes and thirty four seconds, we got a nice shot of two kids just eating noodles, mm. just noodles, are buttered sure noodles the, maybe. The mac, the mac, mock tapioca pudding. No, it's just uh, noodles that I honestly don't even think are buttered. They're just noodles. Egg noodles. That's good mm. enough. Yeah. Mm. Next time we get a tip, um, will we sing like we work at Cold Stone Creamery? <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my god! What a what a fucking horrific job, Jesus! What if what if you played the Brown Family little jingle every time? I would give everything I own. Give you my world, my heart, my home. 
uh, Cody and Mary's love story. It's, tr- mm. it's really magical. Other one step back. You might get hit by a stick. A date with Kay and Kay. I was not expecting a Guffman sing along today. Oh, don't even <laughs> tempt me. I mean, I any given time of day, you and I can text each other what songs in your head. And it's either yeah. going to be um, probably Stool Boom. <laughs> Or something from the office. Yeah, exactly. Or like you know what was in our Chances hands. Hunter is very talented. What? After we did that one episode of Sister Wives, that one song was in our head. What was it though? It was a like the song that I a match um butterfly. A sunbeam. A sunbeam. I'll be a sunbeam for him. Jesus wants me for a sunbeam. <laughs> I watched Gwen watch that episode and she's like, oh my God, I love this song. And I was like, Gwen, stop. Oh, just we like to on. Gwen. Just... But this, she said, she's like, this is like the worst version of the song I've ever heard. So no. at least there's that. I'm at 30 minutes and 36 seconds. Not a blind. And despite everything that's going on, we all still, you know, cherish that relationship that we have. So. Uh-huh. Okay, so put one cup of butter and then two cups of milk. So one cup of butter into that pot and start okay. melting the butter. Janelle has always been super, super generous with her kids. I've been involved in all of the big things in Janelle's kids' life. And so when I left, and I left Flagstaff, I was leaving them all behind. Okay, Garrison, that's plenty. Stop. It's, it's not a circle stop. yet, so huh? it's not a circle no, you yet. You don't need it anymore. Stop. You, you, okay. you don't have to overwork the job. Yeah, I mean, Garrison yeah. calling needing my help which is confirmation even though i've left their dad um i'm still gonna be in their lives and that's what i was hoping for Aww. wait why did my sound just go off what happened i don't know babe now and i are getting together oh. for a couple of days after christmas so all of the traditions that we would we would usually do for those couple of days around christmas we're gonna do them we're gonna do them all in those couple of days so, so excited. We're just going to hang on to that tradition. It's super important to have those couple of days together. Okay. All right. I'm at 31 minutes and 57 seconds, and Mary's hair is wild and out. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> so, I just left Janelle's house, and we just had a big blow up. All right, so now Cody and Robin are coming to join Mary outside her house. So Robin won't even let them go inside. She's wearing her fucking parka. We get it. You're skinny. Uh, Not as skinny as you used to be. And she has water. And Cody has his sunglasses and his gloves on. Gloves. Gloves. Very tender fingers. Mary's like, can we just go inside my fucking house? Yeah. A communal like, house, group house. I have a mansion we can go into, and I have to sit here next. But she lit a fire, though. Well, I'm at Robin th- did say she wanted to sit on the front porch. She did, she didn't ever say I want to sit inside with my sister wives and Greg. That's right. No one's allowed inside. Outside. Outside. COVID, Cody. I'm at 32 minutes and 14 seconds. God, Cody's such a stupid douchebag. How's it going, man? Good. How are you? Yeah. All right. I think oh. we've only had a fight oh, like this maybe five oh, times in our lives. Pretty intense. But I'm headed over to Mary's because I already had plans to go talk to her. Nice. Wow, you guys say Why like. Why she's getting there? I know. It's the it's the Elaine and Seinfeld thing. Like, take your yeah, jacket off down. and sit down. You're making me uncomfortable. Oh. Yeah, I don't like this. Oh. <laughs> I'm okay. It's a p- weird place to be coming to that meeting from this. Mm-hmm. You better talk about holiday seasons. Christmas, I guess. I don't know what there is to talk about. What's Janelle doing? Janelle and Christine have rented a short-term rental. I thought Christine wasn't coming until after Christmas. She's yeah, not. it's not until after Christmas. So I think they're trying to shut me out because they're mad at me. It's it's weird. Yeah, yeah no, duh. You're finally catching up. They're trying to yeah, shut you out because they're mad at you. Chris- yes, exactly. Yeah. And Christine divorced you, so she doesn't yeah, need you're to divorce. talk to you. And Janelle just made you move all your shit out of her uh, fucking, like, matchbox yeah. that she's They don't in. owe you anything. Bye-bye. It's being weird right now. 
what is going on. It's like, all right, guys, it's Christmas. It's supposed to be fun and happy and joyful. Is Janelle not coming over with the kids on Christmas? No. She said she, really? she said she's not? Well, no, we're not getting together. <laughs> See, <laughs> now, even, even Justine's fiancé, Blair, was like, like this is like the worst acting job ever. Oh, wait, I was like, oh, oh no, really? Cody? As if Cody didn't come blasting into her house immediately oh, after that fight. He and was recap the whole and fucking kissing thing. and oh, crying yeah. and screaming all night. I'm sure they, Aurora ended up having a panic attack in the middle of him talking about it. Oh, Dad, I just want everyone to be happy. Um, mm. I'm at 33 minutes and 20 seconds. Robin, sit the fuck down. I thought you were talking to her about this and stuff. Oh, no, we didn't talk. Oh, I we you... yelled at each other. You guys yelled at each yeah, other? Yeah, we, we threw rocks at glass what? houses. It's scary because, like, what does this mean? And it sounds like the issues that we're having about Christmas are just getting worse. You guys are just yelling at each other? Pretty much. I don't even know. About what? We're just repeating the question. She's the such answer. a bad actress, dude. She's worse than me, and I am a bad actress. Yeah. Like she's like, you guys were just yelling at each other. Oh wait, you were yelling. What? Oh, so you were just yelling back and forth and stuff. Cool, D. All right. Well, uh, Thirty-three, forty-six. Is what what, what were you yelling about? Oh, oh I, I, really this sad. is the first I've heard of this. This is wait, brand new information. I, I don't yeah. get it. Why would you? I don't get it. We were throwing rocks at glass houses. All right, Cody. Uh, it's Christmas for the children. That's always dangerous when well, you have no idea uh, what it's, you're it's about the It's the blame game. It's the big blame game about who's responsible for our family. No one ever invited me to play COVID. that game, Cody. I, listen, I, I don't know. I, like, the boys aren't talking to me. Have you tried? Um. Yeah, I've reached out to basically everybody. No, you haven't. They're making up stories in their mind because they're not talking to me. So everybody's got some story about how dad's a bad guy. But just we're just having two groups of Christmas. Hey, listen, I was threatening to do this last Christmas. Well, no, Christine's not going to be here for Christmas. So that's not two groups. She's getting together with Janelle. Well, after, after, you said. After yeah, Christmas. Well, the fact that our family is not all together and all getting along and doing Christmas together this year is really weird. Maybe it would just be easier for me to hole up in my house and not be around. Here, it's oh, just, my it's oh my god, look at my hair though. Look at my hair. Why is no one on the production crew fixing that piece of hair? Oh goodness, just this is me the devil. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm in hell. I'm in hell. She is turning into Jan Levin. I just like to go upstairs and smell all my candles. Smell my candles. (laughs) Here, smell. (laughs) Michael goes, I couldn't help but notice you smelling Jan's candles. And Jim's like, oh, yeah, she shoved it right in my face. So, yeah. (laughs) You want me to bring all my rich friends? (laughs) All right. (laughs) It's an investment opportunity. Andy Bernard, what do you say? He's like, already thought about it? I'm in. (laughs) You shouldn't joke about that. I I, I don't want to watch this episode again soon. By the way, guys, if you want to join our Patreon, that's one of the first episodes we did was recap The Office. Yep dinner party oh, no, i'm at 34 party. minutes and 51 seconds sorry about that off i mean you're if you're gonna be watching us you gotta expect an office uh fly away yep. at some point yep. awkward and weird i i what i gather from the things janelle was throwing at me is that everybody's sort of making up a story yeah like about you. me and oh. they're talking to each other about it but they're not talking Hello. to me about Hello, it the trees. I love you. and now they're all mad at me she was saying look how she, he's standing did you see how he was he was like, oh, oh, he's like posing what is he doing dude his hand is in like a little like cl- oh, like backwards claw little hiney i just want to this is so weird she's this the only thing is weird the two are just standing looking now mary is getting like a good edit this season so and like people are starting to talk about it like she's over it like and even here she's yeah. like did you try talking to them did you I think call them? I think I said this before. She saw Robin saying, oh, no, no, no. Uh, no, no, no. She can't touch the kids. 
because we're gonna have to change all the yep. rules. Then. And she was like, "I'm d- fucking done. I fucking yep. sequestered uh-huh. for eight oh, months." Oh, really? You're I- playing stupid now, Robin. Now I can blatantly see that you. My, 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 my turn. You're not. Yep. <laughs> Kevin earlier said, uh, I just like to go upstairs and smell all my watermelons. No, oh my God. Oh my <laughs> he wasn't going to be the in-between. Well, I, I wish she wouldn't be, but she's she's colluding with them. This is where he's learned the word collusion now. Because I can't imagine what channel he learned that from. <laughs> yeah. Do you uh-huh. think she's colluding with them? Absolutely. Look how he's standing. He feels pretty angry. And whenever you're angry, you're not going to see. that? He's like literally posing. He looks like men in tights. He has never been more feminine, yeah. effeminate, vaginal drying than yeah. this episode. Like, oh god, it's everything is so bad. This is the definition of, of ick. Like, go uh, someone make a TikTok or here. Maybe this will be your next project. I'm just all you look so like, dumb right now. And be like, yeah. no. You would, and then standing by the fire. Do you see those TikTok videos? That's that, but then it turns into like a person writing on their notes app, like notes of like, don't wave. Like it's oh, it's like I did see one of them. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was yeah. like never order food in a restaurant. Like yeah. random. <laughs> don't shower. <laughs> don't walk. <laughs> yep. Any other perspective? I'm at thirty five twenty six. You've got blinders on. But playing devil's advocate, maybe Janelle's not colluding. I mean, when you use a word collude, and when Cody uses it, like, it means everybody <laughs> is batting up against him. And maybe she's not doing that. Thank Christina you, Mary. Janelle are doing everything they can Maybe Cody doesn't know what words them, actually which is mean. Fine. He just said, Christine and Janelle are doing everything in their power to make sure I'm not the head of the family. Because you're not their family anymore. They're both leaving your ass. Yeah, and also most of your kids are adults, bye bye, and they don't need a head of the. There's family no head anymore. of the family. It work yeah, like that. Once you're an adult, yeah. Kind like, even in the early episodes when they're doing like a my sister wife's closet meeting, and Christine's accidentally sitting in Cody's seat, and he goes, "Are you the head of the family?" Yep. Why are you so worried about that, dude? Yeah. Hello, Latrice. Basically. I became the head of mine and my kids' family out of necessity. Boom. I was the one that my kids would listen to, and I was yep. one my kids talked to. And if they needed to feel love or security or acceptance, they got that from me. So it's yep. more like, well, what are we going to do for Christmas? Why so, is this big of a deal? You know, I guess we do Christmas Eve here and then Christmas morning at Robin's house. Fun as you guys are cool with it. So Christmas Eve has always just been kind of a fun tradition for me. Oh, remember the the, uh, the flu house? Oh my god! Where it, it just the, where the windows are just wet, bronchi, <laughs> bacteria akimbo in that place. And yeah. Mary's Mary's like beat that when she bashes into oh. the house. God, They're yes. all just They're coughing, gross. open mouth coughing, just all over and everyone. And there's just condensation dripping down all yeah. the windows. They, uh-huh. oh, the co- so between crazy. the coughing and the herpes, it was just like a fucking <laughs> cesspool in there. Disgusting. I'm at 3625. Yeah. One, two, three, go. Oh. Yeah. Robin with her stupid camera. It, but- yeah, I like, also good God, bitch! Like nobody even knows. No one's anymore. looking at these photos except Aurora. You know, Aurora yeah, looks at those all the kids. Album Christmas jammies. I used to make them when they were younger, and there weren't they were quite so busted. many children. You know, for me, Christmas over the last few years has changed a lot. There's less magic. There's less magic. And I don't know if it's the state of the family, the state of the relationships. It's just rotten. And scared. that makes me sad. You know, I need to make my own magic for Christmas, I think. And I'm pretty and sure I, like, Scott like, Kahlua in it. What? <laughs> Say that again. And I'm pretty sure Scott Kahlua in it. Oh, yes. Kahlua and Dr. Pepper. Magic for Christmas. <laughs> what did we say? Kahlua no. root beer? Kahlua and um, Dr. Pepper? Kahlua root beer. Say, like Kahlua and like orange soda. Like something just disgusting or like 
Yeah, rum and Sprite. Or she likes eggnog. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Eggnog now, with, uh, with like some Merlot. Mm. She's into oh, it would curdle. The, uh, uh, <laughs> another office reference where Andy's like, it's eggnog and something. And he's like, they don't make it all year round though because it's seasonal. Nagasaki. Eggnog is seasonal. <laughs> yeah, Nagasaki. It's Naki and eggnog. Yeah. It's seasonal. I, <laughs> Janelle and the kids that are around are. Do I not? How do you want to do it, Mary? How do you want to do Christmas Eve? I don't know, Cody. I have no idea. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm completely stuck in the middle. Let's be real. I am in this place where... Robin, sit down, you monster. Not saying... Sit down. And she just put her hands it's over so the fire. Good. Yeah. Sit the fuck down. You're too good to sit down at my house now? Like, what the hell? She's warming her hands on the fire, though, Jody, in her gloves. You're not that cold. You know why? Because she doesn't want to sit. She doesn't want to sit next to Cody because that would be very rude to Mary. But she also doesn't want to sit next to Mary. (laughs) Oh, that's definitely what it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To be a jerk. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying how I... This is just what it is. Yeah. Like, you've got Christine who left. You've got Janelle that you're at odds with. I'm, like, the third wheel because I'm just here. Yep. I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know. Do I call them and have them come over when you guys are all at odds? That sounds is that scary. Com- if I could have my Christmas wish, Cody and the boys would get this figured out. and We could have Hey, Robin, you're 45 years old. Let's. Enough with the Christmas wish. Shut yeah, the fuck exactly. up. Yeah, exactly. That's why I, like, I yeah, don't fine. get this. I don't get this whole thing. Like, your kids can't have a good Christmas if the whole brown family yeah, is there's still, there. like, eight of you there. Yeah. Have a Christmas together. You're and, like, fine. I love Christmas, too. But, like, you know, I've spent many Christmases alone. Uh, calm down. You're fine. You still get to spend it with the people you actually like. You don't actually yeah. like Garrison and Gabe. You don't want them in no, your house. No, but she. But it's like her kids want to hang around the other kids. It's not. It doesn't matter her that the other kids don't want to be around Aurora. Aurora like, but they want them so there. I'm at 38 Sorry. minutes and four seconds. Christmas together. Do I think mm-hmm. it's gonna work for them to get together on Christmas Eve without talking? No, I think there's gonna be a fight, and that's what I think is scary. I feel like I'm sitting here doing the very best that I can to. I get it. You know, like. Be the family, be in the family, be part of the family, do what the family's, you know, doing. Honestly, I feel like I've been put in a really awkward position. I'm not in the Cody and Robin married club. I'm not in the Janelle and Christine friend club. If I had Mm -hmm. my way, the family would all get together and be together. (gasps) Okay, also, Mary, I will say, uh, when all these people have a problem with you, Maybe you're a piece of the problem. Maybe it's yeah. you that says something about you. Yeah, and actually, that Max many does the same. People... Karma's catching oh. up with Mary. Nobody wants to be with her. Yeah, yeah. like, sorry, but you fucked up for yeah. many, many years. Although I do think that Janelle and Christine would take her in just to piss off Cody and Robin. I mean, I would. That could be. That could be true. I mean, you just give me. You know, if you provide Mary with alcohol, I think she's going to be a blast. No, Jen's not allowed. Yeah. I don't want Jen in my house. Oh, no, Jen can get out. <laughs> no Jen. It's a no Jen zone. Uh, 3843 is my timestamp. I don't I don't know what to do. If I go over to Robin and Cody's for Christmas, it's I'm going over to Robin and Cody's for Christmas. If they were to come over to my house, they'd be coming to Mary's house. Not Mary and Cody's house. They'd be coming to Mary's house. The wheels are turning slowly. See the difference? Yep. I'm trying to figure out, like, like, like could you be? That was a clip that was posted early um, okay. on TikTok or something. And Kara very commented, like, yes, Mary, we've all noticed that for years. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. And I loved it. It was so fucking funny. Yeah. Like, yes, Mary, you're cluing in finally. Hang on. Uh, and everybody and, like, because... Because last year you were struggling with that. 
like you were struggling because of what just happened with the boys. No, I'd rather just be around people who really want to be around me. Oh, like, oh my God, God. Like, you get ugly. Such a baby. Know. I can't speak to Janelle now. I mean, it's just we've crossed the line. It's I have no idea when you just call her up or you go over and you. No, I'm talk. not interested in that. It's just like. I'm just, I'm there, just. There has to be a time when we I'm go just, long enough to where we can. I'm just, I'm, I'm just recording. I'm a good sister wife. You just go talk yeah. to her, Cody. I'm just saying, I think you guys can fix it. I don't think there's anything like. You know that if he came back and he's like, I fixed everything with Christine and Janelle. Like, we're doing great. Robin would be fucking living. I'm actually going to, like, stay over there for a couple months and just, like, you know, reset get, get the marriage. Back. Yeah. Oh, she would fucking lose her mind. Oh, and each other and actually have a conversation. But Janelle and I need to sit down in a space and talk about what we want in our lives. Because I'm not sure she wants me in hers. So are you going to invite everybody? Probably not. She wants to, though. I think Mary no, I mean... wants to invite everyone. That's so sad. She's kind of basically asking their permission. Like, maybe sh she's trying to get a read on them. Like, temperature of the room here. Yeah. And that's so sad. And I think they would yep. go to Mary's, too. They would. If Cody and Robin aren't going to be there. And Aurora. In this situation, yeah. I feel like in the family, we're... Not even in the family. Like, just... And people in general, I think, feel like that I am here picking sides. If it happens to be that I do Christmas with Cody and Robin, that means that Cody and Robin are interested in having me around. That's what that means. That that, mm. that doesn't mean that there's any sides being chosen. No, that's ex it, they're they're no, it's forcing actually, you to be on their side. Yeah, yeah. No, it's actually exactly. They don't what really thinking. want you around, but they need to have more like people on their side. Yep, yep. Because I mean, their team it's really sucks right now. They got Cody, Robin, Ariola. Solomon's Aurora. fine, but Aurora. And Brown is just a bitch. I hate that she is a bitch. I was just yeah, gonna she's say a bitch. Brown, the but... face she was making when Christine's going away thing. I'm like, fuck you. Yep. Cody's posing just... again. <laughs> oh my god. I just want to run away from everybody who's Oh you do been oh. so uncool about They've been so uncool, Jody. Um, what I've tried to do to protect the family, and and they're all like, no, well, they're you're all trying fine. to protect us. They're all alive. Yeah. They're like, protected. Well, they're fine. Trying to protect everybody, but some people God. don't want to do that. Nobody feels safe. Nobody, nobody feels like they can be with another person without being uh, just triggered constantly. And that's a weird thing to be because with normal people, they can talk me. And I'm going to be like, well, screw you. I'm getting away from you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're you're chill like that. You're usually fine with people talking about He's just flying hey, right off his back. Water know? off a duck's back. Yeah. yeah. Family, it triggers you. There's like... Please. There's this feeling that we've all been done wrong. <laughs> the flames are on the bridge. And uh, I think most of us is just kind of walking away from the bridge. Great allegory right there. There's flames on the bridge, and we're all just walking away from the bridge, Jody. <laughs> what mm. movie did he watch? That was what deep Reddit yeah. thread? Did You're like, what do you think you were saying there? To... <laughs> Wondering if the bridge is strong enough to to hold up, or if the or if it's gonna burn down. Okay, thank you, Cody. Okay, um, uh, next time. Okay, so I'm stopping it there. That's the end of the episode. Comments, okay. thoughts. I mean, everyone hates. Cody, much. and Robin's <laughs> right. manipulator. This, I mean, this is just wild. Just okay, like, now you know, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, tight pants, cross-eyed Nathan. Yeah. Now it's like, why are you in this? But he's about to uh, do a little mic drop right, right at the end of this uh, next time on, and me and Justine and Blair were all like, <gasps> is he screwing Janelle or something? No, no, he, he has like no. a talking head, but like, here we go. So I'm at 4146 okay. okay. next time on Sister Wives. Okay. Walter can tell I'm wrapping up. All right. On Sister Wives. This is the first year that I'll be doing Christmas separate. Janelle's doing Christmas separate too. Merry Christmas.
Hot Hot Aurora Hot. is like an adult. She's taller than me. Get the Aurora fucking pacifier. The precious children too. Like Aurora Ugh. ran in first, like she always does, and then Ariola with the pacifier. Oh my god. I really don't expect that we'll see Cody. It's been a week and a half, and he hasn't said a thing or called or texted Savannah. Wow. And we're <gasps> one big family, and now we're kind of separate. Man, hey, man, how's it going? Uh, you get in this place where it's like, well, I should just be the devil I think I am. Oh, now. God. Loser. We can deny it to ourselves, but uh, Robin's in for a ride, and all, any of the other wives that stay with him. <gasps> I mean,. Look, I think Nathan's like a fucking weirdo, but like, hey, I gotta give it to him for that. I mean, okay, Cody's and... not gonna like that. No, he's not. No. not his dear friend. Nathan. Nathan it's not gonna be his near friend, Nathan. Anymore. No, no. Um, also, someone brought this up earlier: how Nathan looks like the mean elf, like the head elf on Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Okay, he really does. Oh, he totally does. I mean, I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad saying it or talking about his cross eyes because I think polygamous men are all fucking shit. And that's yeah. just my thoughts on the whole situation. Maybe, like, maybe if one of his former wives kicked him in the head, they could just send him to their shoulder. <laughs> they would get them back straight. Um, okay. That's that was it. Christmas vacation, by the way. Anyway. Oh, I've uh, never seen that. I don't like, I'm not a, I'm not a, che- I'm not a Chevy fan. Oh, uh, you're a Chevy head. I'm not a Chevy head. Justine and Julie, by the way, on Resting Bitch Face, just did an episode of Problematic People That We Still Love. Ooh, and I, 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 like, I got yet. mad at Justine. I was like, you could have gone so much further with that. I'm like, why did Louis C.K. not come up? Oh, careful. I hate careful. I hate careful. careful. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> they went too mild. I was like, you need to do another, another uh, episode of that. Anyway, uh, guys, that was really? epic. Thanks for joining hey, listen, us. Everyone, smash that like. Just tap the little... And Thumbs subscribe, up, hit the like, subscribe, follow us. share, follow. You know all the places. What else, Amanda? You guys want to leave us a tip? Those are nice. PayPal. Yep. Wait. Yeah. Oh, you clicked oh, on the same. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Well, Amanda Jody. <laughs> Amanda Jody podcast at gmail If you like. Yep. To leave us a tip, that'd be nice. Or you That's don't have right. to. We, we don't care. Um, yep. And this week. We got uh, Anthropologist Move In that'll be dropping tomorrow. And Southern Charm. Let us know a good episode of Southern Charm. Maybe DM me because I don't know how I'm going to do reading through all these comments again. So DM us or post yeah, it. The someone Facebook said uh, season finale of uh, uh, season oh. finale season one. Okay. Um, so okay. Good. I'll check you, into you that and I'll, I'll look into it too. Well, okay. we got this taken care of. Okay. Oh, Kimberly. With oh, thanks, line. thanks, Kimbali. Kimbali, well, do you want to say hi? Marathon, but like, oh, look at Wally. He's been standing there the whole fucking time, three oh hours and eleven minutes. Maybe what he needs the to fuck is wrong with you, Aminata? He probably needs to go out. He misses Blair. All right, uh, oh, that's it. Oh. <laughs> Let's wrap it up, and we'll so see you guys sweet. next week. Oh, oh thanks, guys. Oh, oh guys are sweet. Sweetness. Thank you. We'll be back here. <sighs> Same time, same place, all that good stuff. Uh, it'll be September 11th, Amanda. <gasps> oh, don't talk about September 11th. I got into, oh, Walter, we're not, not, not yet, not yet. Actually, wasn't <laughs> last year September 11th was the season? Yes, and I said, I made a comment about like, it's the new September 11th. And somebody wrote me a message careful. about like how uh, oh, God, toned up that one. I mean, smash that <laughs> like if we don't. <laughs> yeah. In in memory of no, okay I, i'm just not gonna in memoriam i'm gonna go charge my vape and uh smoke a bunch of pot and probably watch the episode oh. again to be honest oh say no to drugs amanda no 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 mm, no. no all right guys love okay, you love you guys bye bye well guys it's been a blast Thank you so much for joining us today on our We Love to Hate Everything channel. Please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Give us a like or even a comment and click on that bell if you want notifications because you never know when we might pop up and go live. 
Please check out our other two podcasts on Patreon, where we snark on even more TV, movies, and pop culture. We got Total Request Podcast, that's patreon.com slash trpod, and we love to hate TV, patreon.com slash love to hate TV. Thanks again, and we will see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>